we doing this? I think we're doing this. Uh, yeah. Hey guys. Just now, really bear with me. I have not done a stream uh, <clears throat> in quite a while. I'm just dialing some stuff in. I know we're probably way too bright right now. Okay. Get up to here. Jeez, it's like I'm looking to the sun. Um, sorry, hold on. I was actually going to use my my good camera, but um, I just <laughs> I I decided not to. Um, so that makes things both easier and harder. It's looking okay. How's that? It looks a little a little hot. We're a little moody. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Good morning. First time joining the stream, dude. It's the first time, um, first time doing the stream. It's kind of, kind of fun, you know? I thought we should do something a bit different. Um, so I thought, why don't we do a stream? If people have been asking me to play StarCraft forever. So I thought, why don't we stream it? That could be kind of fun. Um, still look kind of, kind of bright, eh? I might just kind of tap this down a little here. Being a little bizarre in terms of it. See, it's like brightening up. You know what I mean? It'll like stop and then come up. Okay. Yeah, see, what's up with that? Uh, yes, I'm doing the campaign. Yep. I haven't done anything yet. How's that? Light a little. Um, yes, doing the campaign. Um, I was figuring out where all my, like, windows are and stuff. Bit of chat window here. Um, <laughs> being 12 and borrowing the family PC, did I know what you mean? I wanted to get the CRT in frame, it's just over there. How's that audio, guys? I'm keeping it real simple. There's no, like, not gonna be any alerts, um, gonna be any weird, like, overlay stuff, so it should just be talking and game audio. So let me know how that sounds. I think we're pretty good. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna chill for five minutes or so, just to. Make sure everyone's working, everything's working, and see if anyone to get in to not you know not miss the start. Though there will be a live replay of this, so not a huge deal. <laughs> Audio good. Fantastic. Fantastic. How do you guys like the little Zade logo up there? Yeah? Huh? Pretty cool, eh? That's a real that's a real thing. It's not an overlay, that is a physical item on the wall. Pretty cool, it's hand hand painted. Got it as a Christmas gift one yet. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna send a tweet and then we'll get started. Um what are we gonna say? Let's say um I'm streaming my first time playing Starcraft over on YouTube. Um, I will give them a link. Come view. Um, also, let me know how the bitrate is. I um, haven't exactly messed with it a lot. I might need to boost it if it starts to get a bit like, you know, crunchy. Um, all right, let's post that tweet. Let's at that Discord. All right, I think we're pretty much ready to go here. Going to say that StarCraft 1 writing is better than StarCraft 2 writing. Okay. I would... 
I, I have no idea. From what I've heard, that seems like a, a slightly hot take. It's true or not? But it could be. I've heard people love StarCraft 2. I was thinking about recording this, like, getting the gameplay recorded, the video as well, but I, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I'm not going to. I think we're just going to do the stream and I can get audio, I can get video um, for the video. Video for the video, makes a lot of sense. I can get footage for the, uh, the review. If, Again. Nice. I'm just figuring out how to use like basic computer software. Alright, let's do it. Let's play StarCraft, eh? And so I I have no idea what I'm in for. Like literally no idea. Uh yeah, YouTube does auto archive the vid. Yeah, but what I mean is that the overlay will be there. But we could still use it, like it's not a huge deal, but I was gonna have like a separate kind of out. So I could use the footage without an overlay, and without me talking. But, uh, yeah, so I have no idea what we're in for. StarCraft 2 is kind of quirky. StarCraft 1 is a war drama. Alright, well, that sounds good. Um, literally all I've done, I've never played the original StarCraft at all. I've never even like booted it up, I haven't held a disc before. Um, nothing. And the, we're playing with the remaster. Uh, obviously, as you can tell by the big logo. Um, all I've done with this is I booted it up to make sure, you know, it all works. I played uh, one minute of skirmish, and that's all. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited. Not if there's anything we need to do on the options, like... Uh, I, I will say, I mess with this options menu. This is like one of the worst options menus I've ever seen. Not necessarily because of what options it gives you, but like... Look at this, so FPS cap, right? Between 100 and 300, but it doesn't tell you what the actual number is. So, you just, if you, like, because I wanted to sync it exactly with my monitor. The monitor is a little old, so it, like, needs to be within, like, a certain frame rate cap to, like, sync properly. For, um, free sync, or G-sync. Um, so you just have to guess. <laughs> so that kind of is annoying. Um, most of these are pretty good. I did look at the old graphics just to see what it looks like. It looks pretty, um, it definitely looks old. And I, th maybe I'll turn that off. That's probably a good idea. Definitely not turning that on. That's scary. Um, yeah, I think we'll just leave it at like this. Maybe, what do you guys think? Do you think we should have original voiceovers and original campaign? Hey Jeff, how you doing? Let's go. We're waiting for this. I'm glad. I hope, uh, hope it lives up to your expectations. Original menu had none of those modern FPS cap features. No, I, I guessed that was something they would have done with um, with the remaster. The weird how it's like a, a sliding scale and you just guess what you want. I guess we'll just leave these off for now. We can put them on in game, I think. Cinematic subtitles. We'll leave all those on. Yeah, let's just end today. Uh, we'll start with the original. Let's go uh, Zade. Is the game too quiet, by the way? Is the game audio like... I'm just trying to balance it in my headset and the uh, OBS recording. Um, looks okay, from what I can see. And the levels. Let me know if it's too quiet. Just it. Okay, um, I guess we got to start with uh, Tyrion, huh? Like, Warcraft, but, you know, get your options. Game audio could be louder. Alright, I'll just, um, give it a bit of juice. Bring it up to, like, the, uh, sound is fine. I'll go, like, halfway in between. That's, like, or. Four decibels higher than mine. Little campaign. Oh yeah. 
And the StarCraft Remastered changed voice lines in English. Oh, they re-recorded everything in French. In mission. Yeah, the, from what I've seen that menu, they, they did, but don't quote me on <laughs> anything because I don't know. You wouldn't call the writing very good. I thought it was from being made up as it goes along. <laughs> Focus on Kira again. Yeah, she's like the um, Sylvanas of uh, Starcraft, right? Is that the deal? Yeah, all I know about Kerrigan is that she, um, she was a Terran and then she becomes an alien lady. It's probably like a, you know, not an ideal spoiler to know, but I feel like that's one of the spoilers that's very difficult not to know. All the plot holes. No, it's a double tab. Alright, we're gonna start it. Here we go. Welcome to StarCraft, baby. Let's go. <coughs> Terran Campaign. Rebel Yell. In the decade since the end of the Guild Wars, the oppressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. Okay. Okay. All of that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting Confederate colony of Chao Sada. That's like homeworld. <clears throat> it's not spoiling. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. It's, like I said, it's hard not to know the big ones. It's a pretty old game. Word of advice. Try selecting a certain unit four or more times in a row. Oh, okay. I see where you're going with this. It's a... Uh, I remember this in Warcraft 3. The Confederacy, fearing that the alien fleet's next target would be the colony of Marsara, has sent you to intervene. That's us. You, us. You, us. Me, you, us. Acting as magistrate, you are safe. You are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. Okay. So we're there just to be like, chill guys. Just an alien invasion. Just chill. Rule it too good? Yeah man, of course it is. So it is a bit older and it could use a remaster. The game had a thick booklet with the backstory of every race. Yeah, that's the problem with some of these older games. It's like, a lot of the lore and stuff like you should probably know comes in the manual. But we'll figure it out. You can always bring up the menu, I guess. The RTS guy has never played StarCraft. I know. I know. Boot camp. Oh, we've got like a tutorial mission? Yes. Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Okay. 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 Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting skip. Is, uh, is she a real human? Is she, like, hooked up to the computer? <clears throat> Whenever you feel you are ready, you may select yeah, start. Story in the extra game ignores or contradicts the menu. I think how that happens, I've heard that happen for quite a few games and I've seen it for some too. I think often the manuals are written, like, you know, right at the end by different people <laughs> and they just all right relax lady and they just kind of make stuff up or fill in the, the gaps when the real info is in there hey Luna blink if you're being held hostage all right let's do it you're okay to go. never understood why the lady face robots oh well I guess we'll find out then won't we Oh, focus. Alright. Our oh, tips. Let's go. Click on next tips, cycle through all available tips. You can activate this menu anytime by clicking at the menu button and choosing help. We're gamers, we're fine. <clears throat> Need to be a cyborg. Mm -mm. They made her a robot. Interesting. Um okay, we're not gonna go through every tip. And give us a random tip. Alright, jeez. Starcraft, here we go. Of our construction and the ECB. This? Alright. Yeah, listen to this music. Universe at War Assault. What? Uh, Earth Assault, sorry. Yes, that is on my list. That's a game I've been meaning to play. Dude, listen to this track, man. It's hard, I've never heard this. 
Um, okay, so what are we doing? I, oh, I missed that. Um, free supply depots, build a refinery, gather gas. Alright. Uh, so these are the boys. Um, let's get... If you remember these guys. Okay, I want to, I want to do this like multiple click. Uh, okay, hold on. Whoa, alright, relax. <laughs> Use the attack command. Alright, yeah, okay. That's a fun way to do that. Okay, we need a supply depot. That's our house. Right, we need more of this. Okay, what's our hotkeys? Build is B, that, yeah, that. Let's can you shift click in this? We just can this game rocks? Yeah, apparently. Track is, this track goes hard. Oh, it's been liberated from Games Windows Live. Oh, you should track down a version that has been. Yeah. Yeah, we're up against Windows Live, man, that sucked. Hardly knew ya. Okay, we've got a unit max. Unit max selector, I see. Alright, so we've got a supply depot. He's gone back to there. So let's just test this. So did our shift key work? So if we go there. Yeah, nice. Cool. Alright, so we can shift Q. That's good. Um, I guess we just go around there for a bit. Are we on an arrow key movement? Yeah. Oh, what's that? A zergling, perhaps? Okay, what do we need? I, God, my memory is... <laughs> Three supply depots and a refinery. Right, so we can chill. Now oh, the first mission teaches you this again. I guess we'll see. I do love how old games would just give you tutorial missions and somehow like integrate, you know, press the menu button to to do something. But it's like one of the in-game characters telling you that, and they have to try and justify why they're telling you that. I'll do one more ECV here. Let's get the let's get this voice line here. <laughs> Whoa, what did he say? Yeah, I think this music's a little loud. You guys agree? I can't really hear what they're saying very well. I, I, dude, the music's lower? That feels better. That music was a little overbearing before. Hey, the Thrill Trial campaign. Hell yeah. Good old days, man. Yes, Alright, uh, we'll build one more of those. Thrall's prologue was the free trial, but then the human campaign teaches you everything again. It does sound familiar. I'm gonna play Warcraft 3 again. It's too, many, too much to play. <laughs> we have time to play, play stuff. Alright, and we need a refinery, don't we? A refinery, a hundred. Okay. What do we got for resources? We got this mineral field, and we got this this being geyser. Okay, so that's your gas. That's your minerals. Okay, nice and simple. Did they censor him saying shit? Did we? Commander, yeah. shoot. Standing by. Get. Wow, they did censor it. Me, Bruh. Come on, really? What's the benefit of censoring it? Did it not used to be censored? Not the end of the world, but it's pretty funny. 
Um, okay, refinery's gone, I guess. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's uh, possible creatures. Uh, not really, actually. What the original version of this, Warcraft 2, and Cloud and Conquer that you're going to frame? Hopefully, Mon. Hopefully Microsoft brings Warcraft and Starcraft to Steam. Yeah, that would be sick. I hope Microsoft can get some back catalogue going with the Blizzard stuff. Like, imagine if they bought like original Warcraft 3 to Steam. And just like kind of forgot that the Reforged one exists. Yeah, right. The refinery process is raw Vespin gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. Ah, okay. So they actually still have to gather it from the refinery. I thought it would just be a... Excuse me, it's 6 in the morning here. <laughs> I thought it would just be like a continuous. So they're still got to gather it. Right. We need 100 guests. Right, you can go on guest. That can be done with every unit. Alright, we'll have to... We can do it for the ECV, right? Oh no, it's gonna look only. Yeah, it's gonna be the same unit. All right, you're uh, a unit of choice. Tell me what's up. Give me the good lines. Lame. <laughs> oh, Sarah. Why right, is that the name, Sarah? Or is that no? It's the name. All right, we're calling her Sarah from now on. Great job, guys. They <laughs> say, can't believe they put me in one of these. Me neither, brother. <laughs> yeah, I did see that about StarCraft. I'm not sure I would say confirmed, but there should be, could be stuff I haven't heard. I saw mostly baseless rumors. Not a mobile game, yeah, that would be rough. Oh, unidentified Kreezmas. Kreezmas? Oh, what is going on? Alright. Nice. We're gaming. <clears throat> Let's go. Voiceland. Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Ma Sada Colony. Alright, Sarah. Adjutant online. Good evening, Magistrate. Good evening. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Thanks. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent protest destruction mm -hmm. of the Chow Sa Colony. Are also the cool guys, aren't they? Tighten security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this <laughs> time will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You're to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Transmission ended. Oh, Raynor. I know Raynor. Well, I know of him. Raynor? Raynor's the, the dude, isn't he? Isn't it? I think I used to think he was the guy on the front of StarCraft 2, but that's just some dude, right? Calling the adjutant Sierra is going to bite me real soon. Alright, we'll figure it out. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, Microsoft have been pretty good with Age of Empires. I'm hoping, um, I'm kind of hoping they look at what they did for AoE and think about that for, yeah, Warcraft and Starcraft. Units can be ordered to move attack gather resources or appear automatically. With the units selected, right click the area or target with actual. Oh, right, they mean like. Dragging a box, whoa. This is truly a real time strategy game. The wasteland. Uh, the Marines. Uh, let's say can control click on one. Yeah, that's nice. Brainer? Oh, there he is. Uh, okay. I thought we froze, but we're good. Rainer isn't a dude. He's a man. That's right. 
I got a shift. This is Jimmy. Jimmy McGill? Yeah, those effects are pretty nice. Occasionally we should swap back to the old visuals just to kind of see what they look like. I'm probably being spoiled by this one. Alright, what are we doing? I got a really... Barracks, 10 Marines. Rainer must survive. Ahead, must he though? I do like how like the icons show where the unit's damaged even though it's just like a vanity thing. It's pretty cool. So like the Marine earlier? Yeah, it had like just his body. His gun's fine though. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, Alright, 50. Uh, okay, we're gonna train... Oh, 100? 50. That wasn't a rumor. Uh, oh, I do, I do remember something vaguely about that. It is pretty based. They're like, yeah, we <laughs> we don't have anyone who like wants to do StarCraft enough, but if you do, <laughs> just let me know. Ahead, yeah, fair enough. Okay, so is this like a world here. object? Oh yeah, where is he? That's the guy. Look, his shoot. arm's fine. He's got a sore head though, and a sore leg. And his gun's sore. He's got a sore gun. Private. Must, that must be like a combat rank, right? Oh, F5. That does the graphics. Oh, legend. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a go on F5 for a bit. Oh, shit. That's Sierra, huh? Oh my gosh. That guy looks in the water. Oh man, that is an unfortunate angle. Look how much of a glow up he got. Light, come on. Why are you messing with me like this? Sorry, that light. We might have to do some lighting <laughs> fixing this plan. And that guy got such a huge glow up, that's crazy. I can't, build there. can't you? Yeah. How else could a glow up? The Marine. That's pretty fine, that's like such a close angle. Yeah, I could get that. That's a glow up for sure. Oof. Damn, Jimmy. Looking a bit worse for wear. Look at him now, dude. He's like a Chad. Here he's like, duh. Here he's like, Giga Chad Jimmy. Good job. Uh, we'll leave it off for a bit. I like these little um, things at the bottom left. These are cool. They look really cool. TV. Can you put um, multiple on one? No, you can't. We should be getting some gas though. Do we have a gas um, thing? Gives me gas. At least we don't need gas for marines. Marines don't need gas. Bam select the unit so they get annoyed. Yeah, we did a couple before. I want to try and try the new. Actually, we could try Jimmy. We could try him. Marine counter. Let's try Jimmy. I do. I knew I should have stayed in bed this morning. Rainer here. That's funny. This should be good. Good on you, Rainer. Are these abilities? Can we like use these? Or is this just stuff they do? If it's just stuff they do, it's probably stuff we can upgrade, I would assume. That's the case. Uh you guys can't see the counter at the top left, huh? Probably not a huge deal. Camera's gotta go somewhere, but Let's see. All right, let's try some marines. One, two, three, four, five. We got a. Uh, we got the money for that. Let's go back to. Oh, yeah, it does look a lot better. This is Jimmy. Right All right, let's do some exploring while we build our marine contingent here. Goes out. Okay, do we want to see what combat looks like in the old uh, visuals? Let's find some right zerglings and blast them away. Oh, this one. Let's see what this looks like. Looks pretty good. Sounds fun. And I've, yeah. Why I'm surprised, like... Oh, one of the most yeah. acclaimed RTS games ever. Oh yeah, this looks pretty good. You so you don't, you don't say. Oh, yeah. Wait, who's that? 
Mm, I saw you on the little mini map, little rude guy. Alright. Three more marines, please. You can drop the spider mines. Okay. Oh, yeah, use spider mines. Very nice. There to go. Just like walk around. You want a piece of me, boy. See how those work. Alright, how many more have we got? One more marine. We're gaming. How's everyone doing today? I should have asked that. How's, um, how's this, like, time? The problem with living in New Zealand is that. You kind of need to make the time work for everyone else. Not just yourself. So I hope this kind of fits for people. Dumb brood. Spider mines can damage and kill your own units. Auto attack nearby enemies. Cool. Good. Receiving incoming transmission. Calm link established. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> what's up, man? Casual Friday, eh? Station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting It's almost the time now. Stand by for incoming transmission. Extendian in France. Already nice. received the distress beacon from Backwater, and we'll take care of. Number 30 South Africa. Nixon Overlord. Thanks for thanks for being here. Good time, then. I'll head out there now and do what I can. You Station is dust. And we'll save those folks. Trust me. Alright. Do it. Eradic eradic er eradicate the alien infestation. We can do that. So is this before Blizzard got their big cutscene game going? Glad to see you, boys. Or have we just not seen one yet? Serious, Maybe oh, don't spoil yeah. it. I shouldn't ask questions that I don't want to be spoiled. Uh, we'll get a few CVs before we um, here. the Marines out here. Right we'll gas there. Okay. This be and we are eradic. What? Why can't I say eradicated? Eradicating. 9:30 a.m. California. Hell yeah. And yeah, we really do have like the spread of um, time zones. It's pretty good. Like New Zealand morning tends to get most people. Like you get. Um, US and kind of the morning slash early afternoon. You get Europe in the evening. Um, the only thing you don't really get is Asia. It's kind of like early, very early, you know, middle of the night for them. But I guess they can kind of drop in as the as the time goes on. You missed one cutscene, the one here in scavenging a ship. OG intro cutscene. I don't think I skipped anything. Um, we can see though. Is there like a, a cutscene menu in game? That's probably asking a little much for something this old. But it doesn't sound like it's overly important. We could just watch it on YouTube, I guess. Be careful about spoiling ourselves. Campaign's ending is some of the best FMV in entire sacra font okay you mean this entire campaign or just the Terran campaign also I have no idea how long these campaigns are okay based on I'm just kind of basing it on like Warcraft I guess you can go from there um I don't remember how long Warcraft 3 is pretty long I remember like with all the different um races and stuff so I'm expecting like maybe 10 to 15 hours per faction and this each camp each faction has three right so maybe engineering bay that upgrade building I presume I've already got a barracks no 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 do it we got a barracks you're fine you're fine <laughs> just chill 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 uh we'll put up maybe like 10 guys where are the 10 marines I built last time eh yeah where'd they go Uh, 
All right, let's um, get some rings going. Each campaign is nine missions. Die game expansion included. Okay. The best Blizzard cutscenes are the main menu intro. You have to click view intro. Okay. They playing StarCraft One. What timeline? Yeah, I know, right? It's been um, it's been a while of people asking me to play StarCraft. I'll tell you how it came about. It's like half wanting to play StarCraft, um, but also half of being like, I want to like stream, you know, something that I haven't done before, just for fun, just to see how it goes. Um, oh yeah. And yeah, so it just kind of worked out that StarCraft would be the best option, so I wanted to start with something that stupidly people would want to watch. It'd be a bit more exciting um, than just some like rando RTS game. So, StarCraft it was. This is the intro cutscene. Okay. Two minutes long. Take a look when you have time. Alright. Alright, I will. Um, let's build a few more Marines. Ooh! Fire bat requires academy. Can I build that? No. Guess we'll get that later. Assuming it's an upgrade. Lift off. Oh Jesus. Um. Okay. We are a hovercraft. Uh. Okay. I thought that was like an upgrade. <laughs> All right. Land. Can I order that? No. Just the command center. That's fun. All right. Yeah. Sorry. You keep. You keep. Keep going. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the resources, that's fun. Um, okay. First played through StarCraft 30 years ago. Bruh. Yeah, it is almost that amount of time, huh? What is this? 90, 1997? 1998? More like 25. Alright, you guys are probably enough. Let's go have a look. And we gotta make sure Rainer doesn't die. I gotcha. Also, am I crazy? Did we not sit a difficulty? Is this a one difficulty game? It's kind of based. Oh I did, I have heard, I'll admit, I've heard this song before. I've actually used this song in a video, I remember. I can't remember what video it was. It was an early one. Ah, oh, what one was it? I can't remember. It was an old video. Even the first couple of years. I think I used it. I don't remember what for. I think it was maybe it's for Warcraft Reforged actually. Might have been. Game was your childhood. Love the Terran soundtrack. Yeah, I love the nostalgia for soundtracks there. Eh? That's we've blocked off there. It's a one difficulty game. Okay. Love that. Terran campaign is very tutorially. Okay. How many guys we're gonna need? Probably not this many. I do kind of love a one difficulty game. Can't heal you, can we? I think we can get armor though. Man, that takes ages. I ever started doing that like multiple minutes ago. We got Terran bunker. Come with that. So the garrisonable. Ah, hey, you're welcome. Rescue SCV. Back to base, boys. Um, you can get us more minerals, please. Hank would be proud of the minerals. I could capture these. Fight is not available if your structures produce or research. Okay. Oh, there's the fire bat. Nice. Dude, I gotta see what these guys look like in the original. Oh yeah, he kind of looks like a, like a, like a miner, like a, you know, not a child, like a. <laughs> Upgrade complete. All right, there we go. They've kind of placed him off just to the side a little, huh? Kind of like out of frame. All right, we got infantry armor. All right, we'll do that. How's that represented? Six plus one. All right, you get over there. Um, we probably don't need that. Jimmy, you can go on one up there. 
If you want to make it harder, you're supposed to increase the speed. If you want to make it easier, you're supposed to use cheats. Okay. This could be team two. I. This might. Be, this shouldn't be a hot take. I don't think so. I've never liked games where you can increase the game speed. <laughs> Frankly. Oh man, that looks sick. They look derpy, yeah they do. In the original. Yeah, game speed is one of those things where it's like... kind of just wish it was never able to be changed. You don't find it for many new games. But for old, old RTSs in particular, you see it a lot. And, and it was... I just don't like it. I feel like I want to play the game at a speed that the developers, you know, they use the right speed and then... Okay, so you just die pretty quickly, yeah. Make sure Jim Rayner doesn't get obliterated. Right, How the pathfinding is in this? No, sorry, I got the wrong squad. Destroy them. Oh man, the Marines do get like obliterated, huh? Dirk Hydralisk, okay. There's... I've heard of the Hydralisk name before, and that is, that is a cool name. Uh, we'll build a few more. Oh, we can build the five bits. Nice. Put a few more of those, just in case we are um, running low on flesh, on human flesh. I like those voice lines. Are oh, we going to try this guy for our uh, funny voice line <laughs> compilation? What do you got? One turn of the heat. Fire it up. Yes. You got my attention. Is something burning? <laughs> That's what I thought. Need a light. I love the smell of napalm. <laughs> Nothing like a good smoke. Are you trying to get invited to my next barbecue? <laughs> got any questions about propane? <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, very funny. Good reference. That's pretty good. The original Warcraft 1 is infamously difficult on the fastest speed. Because you can only control four units. Bro. Warcraft 1 has funky pathfinding. Yeah. This is kind of like the era of um, questionable pathfinding. That's pretty I need some more. Um, these guys. To say, um, Rainer can be repaired because he's technically a. Can I shift key those up? Orders, Building? Yeah. Keep an eye out for Fallout references. Rainer okay, here. we'll do. Getting the speed is the legacy way of old IT. Change it based on your CPU speed. Yeah, that's probably more accurate. Right, we going? Where are we going here? Yeah. I think Tiberian Sun was probably the game where I had um, changing speed the most. Because oh shit! All right, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Um, yeah, I remember. You know, I used to play one speed as a kid, and I think it was one. F it was one different than normal. And just like, people said I should change it and it really threw me off, so I never did. Uh, I missed it before. What's that? I saw it. It was about, it was about first time playing StarCraft. Oh yeah, Mika. Sorry, I missed your message. Uh, StarCraft 1 for the first time, or StarCraft in general, both. Yeah, never played any StarCraft property before. Which, yeah, I know, it's crazy. It's crazy! Now you can come too. You can come and get obliterated. Aren't these guys like prisoners? Isn't that the deal? Or is that just the StarCraft 2? I just know that from the StarCraft 2 cinematic trailer. It's a while that I'd never played this before. I know, I know. I mean, around this time, I, was, I mean, I was like three when this came out, right? So I was never playing this on release. And then by the time I actually started playing RTS, I was probably like six or seven. I was in, I got into Age of Empires. And then by that point, you know, StarCraft had happened. It was obviously still popular, but 
I like, you know, missed the main train and I already had the games I was playing. I was a, I became an Age of Empires gamer. And then a little CNC as well, but mostly AoE. Alright, take these things out. The Hydralisk is like the arranged dude, this is the Zergling. That's, so he's like, he's the Zerg Rush, right, that guy? Some Marines are convicts. <laughs> Had to drive that back at the end when I was playing Warcraft 2. CPU from 33 to 100 megahertz. Oh man, take me back. I think my first CPU was a 133. Or it might have been a 300. A Pentium 2. I still want to build a really old computer. Like, I have this old CRT here that you might have seen in the videos. But, um... But, yeah, there. Um, but it's not actually an old computer, it's just an old monitor, so I do actually want to build an old computer. Live out the glory days, they're just hard to find parts for. Perfect. Oh, what have they done to thee? Infested command center. I agree, what do they do? <laughs> it ain't natural. Me when I see my friend with a white monster. I'm just kidding, because I've got a white monster in the fridge. I remember there was a game I played a long time ago on a modern PC, loaded the game up, start campaign, and immediately lost. The game was running at insanely high due to the CPU. A like thousand speed, wow. <laughs> That's funny. What are you talking about? Alright, you're out of your mind. It was infested, bro. Recolonized prisoners. I if we had burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. I agree. If you hadn't taken your sweet time in getting here. Now I asked you nice the first time, boy. All right, this guy's either corrupt. Come here to talk with you. And always wanted to uh, destroy us, or that's some uh, <laughs> questionable lottery. All right, there you go. You're eating. I'm assuming it's waiting. Waiting for your 3080 Ti to be Iron Maid for the second time? Oh man. <clears throat> Wanna be playing Escape from Tarkov. Oh man, I feel that. I've been playing, uh... I've been playing this wipe. It's pretty good. It's not on the fastest speed. I don't think so. Ooh, cutscene? Shh, shh, shh. Oh, they didn't blink that one. Oh my god, look at that guy's face. Of course they. Yeah, the recoil's sick. So good. <laughs> Why'd we hit, Sarge? Looks like you mashed some poor feather's dog, Sarge. Dude, that ain't no dog, brother. Smaller type of Zerg. They even be out this far unless. I think my oh, dog is shit. sick. Yeah, my dog is very sick. I love you, Sarge. <laughs> what? I love you, Sarge. This. This is like a skit. This cut seems a skit. It's pretty funny. <clears throat> Love the StarCraft menu. That's a good fact about the Guild Wars. Streaming on Twitch? No, I'm not. <clears throat> Thought I'd just do YouTube. I could do it on Twitch. But... I'll think about it. Maybe next time. Fastest is standard online. Okay. Yeah, this guy doesn't like us. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. We're being invaded. Alright, right. right, come on, Confederates! You're gonna die to the freaking Zerg. Zerglings, man. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. 
Time's mission. Oh god. Good day, yeah, look at this guy. My name is Arcturus Minsk, and I represent the sons of Arcturus Minsk. All right, that's a that's an extremist if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Pretty good voice acting. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your Is this redone? Voices? Survivors. You know, of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. If I can like F5, I want to skip the cutscene. Information, information if you eh? Decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw too. Okay. But it's a chance We're gonna save the people. Full. Just wait. Transmission. Like watching streams on Twitch more, but YouTube's bitrate is better. Yeah, YouTube's bitrate is a lot better. Twitch's bitrate is um, limited. The main reason was because, you know, I've got a lot of subs. Well, a lot. Uh, a lot for me, uh, a lot of subscribers on YouTube. So it kind of made sense to stream to an audience who actually wants to see old RTS games. I feel like that's probably not a, a large category on Twitch. Um, did I ever play Dungeon Keeper 1 or 2? No, I'm sorry, I have never played a Dungeon Keeper. That could be a good stream, though. Original voices, redone graphics, gotcha. You love all the voice acting? It's pretty good. Like, it's not just, like, average. It's, it's good. Tier and infantry units may be placed inside a bunker. Well, inside a bunker, units are shielded, but are free to return fire. Man, broken? Reckless bunker. Alright. Oh, gosh. Like, uh, oh, we got some, we got some units, huh? All right, um, try the bunker out. You can go on there. How many guys can we have in a bunker? What? I'm gonna guess. All right, we got a lot of dudes here. Now um, let's bring like a few over here. All right, we can go there. What do we got? Barracks. Oh, so the vultures the same, um, same guy as Jimmy, huh? Oh man, look at his glasses. What's he look like in the old school? Whoa, look at his face! <laughs> the goatee? See what happened to his goatee? There's a huge, like. They removed it. Oh, oh no, it's still there. It's not quite as prominent though. They kind of did them dirty, I think. Alright, we are um, under attack. Yeah, I know. Find more minerals, yep, yeah, thanks. Gotcha. Does this game have a height advantage? Or is it just... Yeah. I had the same voice actors for StarCraft 2, that's cool. Yeah, pretty crazy that StarCraft 2 came out so much later than StarCraft 1. I've heard so many good things about StarCraft 2. I gotta... Look, I'm not gonna lie. Half the reason I'm playing StarCraft 1 is because I want to play StarCraft 2, but I wouldn't be able to do it unless I played the first one. But I know StarCraft 1 is like really good, so it's not a bad thing at all. <laughs> I just do want to play StarCraft 2. Mainly because of the cutscenes. Um, alright, we got all the buildings it seems. The pump for Homeworld 3. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for Homeworld 3. From what everything that I've seen, um... Oh shit, I collided the wrong units. Um, it looks like Homeworld 3 is going to be pretty good. It'd be very surprising if it was bad, or average, so I think it will be... I think Homeworld 3 will either be really good... Light? Why did my light just dim? Hey, why is it doing that? Homeworld 3 will either be really good, or just pretty good. It's either going to be like a 95 out of 100, like, god tier RTS, or it's going to be like... 75. One of the two. Petro, I've been waiting for this and I'm glad you're here. Glad you could make it. You know, it's on high ground, have a percentage chance to avoid damage. Okay. It's been longer between now and StarCraft 2 than between StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2. Yeah, I'd believe that. I don't have to believe it, you know. Look at the math. Yeah, that makes sense there. Kind of insane that. I mean, it's not really. Like, StarCraft 2 was so popular. It's, um... 
What was that? Does this guy unironically have the... Yeah. Hold on, we gotta deal with this. We gotta listen to that, what the fuck? <laughs> is, that a, is that like a... Is that a meme? Is this... This actually is the scream? It's the academy, why are they yelling? And why is it that... that what is that voice line? I feel like that's gonna be like a joke, right? Alright, um... God, I keep forgetting our objectives. Um, I'll survive for 30 minutes. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I should, probably should have read that one. Alright. My bats, let's go. Oh, we need first thing again. We'll take one of you off the line here. Do you remember two more horse? Like, Fire from low to higher ground has 45 missed. Gotcha. You can move the command center closer to the minerals. Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll build the SCs. It's an academy. Ah, oh, I see. It's an academy. People are educated. Yeah. One of those kinds of academies. Advanced structure. Factory. Oh, that builds the vulture, I presume. What else we got? Bunker, academy, missile turret, engineering bay. Okay. Right. Um, let's build a... No, not about Supply depot. Supply depot is our houses, right? Yeah. Supplies... Okay, what does the supplies mean? Oh, that's that's like a population, right? Yeah. Supplies use price right? Okay, yeah, sorry, okay. I thought it was like another resource that I had, wasn't understanding. Alright, so you guys can chill there. Um, let's get the barracks. Do some fire bats. So, yeah. The academy does kind of feature tortury upgrades. Let's have a look. Dude, it's so funny that they use that sound bit. Shells, okay. Stim pack, hmm. Marine attack range, that seems good. That's an ability. Okay, we gotta, we gotta lift you up. What is that? Oh, that's our thing. Okay, hold on. We're gonna lift you up first. Population. Yep, gotcha. What else can we get? I can not actually get that close. Yeah, we actually can't do much better. It might be a little better. But it's worse for this, but it's fine. Nobody cares. Nobody care about gas. Never played StarCraft 2 until now. Nope, never played StarCraft until now. Never even once. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, obliterate him. 1v1 the Hydralisk. Come on. Come on. Get him. Yeah, my man. Let's get a few more guys up there. We can get up here. It's like we're playing bar. You know, we're getting some, like, terrain advantage up here. Um, let's do this Comsat station. It's a cool looking building. Oh, he has to move to do that? Shit, wait, okay, hold on. Is this an upgrade? Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah, I get it. Yep. So we don't wanna, oh my gosh, that will always give me. All right, Marines? The max population's 200. Dad, are you gonna review the June RTS game? Um, I don't know, probably not, frankly. It's the Spice Wars? I haven't played it, and I've heard like pretty mixed things. If enough people ask for it, then you know, who am I to say no? But right now, there's no plans. Why is the population cap? Gotcha. The unit is obscured by the sprite of a tree, they also receive a chance not to be hit. Gotcha. Yeah, we need some more guys up here. Um, we should probably build that factory. I don't think we have one, do we? Alright, we've probably got enough gas. So you can go on factory mode. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, sure. I guess I did it wrong. Um, let's build the advanced factory structure. Oh, not enough minerals, bruh. Building too many units. You guys up here. Playing the third tier in mission. Build up those bunkers. Alright. Alright, we'll get the hunch on. Get the gamer hunch on. Let's go. Missile, tr missile turrets only against ear. Gotcha, gotcha. Before we get a few more resources. Oh, that's our countdown. I never noticed that. Add on complete. Yeah, we got some more CVs here. 
That's like a tech upgrade, I presume. Spam you for Emperor Battle for June. I, if that's what you meant, then yes. I'll pl I'm planning to play the old ones, not the new one. Not repairing bunkers, sorry, I'll do that. They repaired? Uh, two health, come on. Yeah, he goes fast. Um, we'll get the infantry armor, for sure. I'm a fan of upgrades. We'll repair that, sorry, I thought I... Uh, oh. That Spice Wars is good, but more of a real-time 4x. I've heard the same. Have I tried annoying the units? I have. I haven't done the Vulture yet, I've done the others. The Civ stage and Spore, yeah, that seems about right. Got some anti-air turrets. Three man gas. This three like the magic number for um efficiency. Alright, we're gonna build another bunker. Let's do another bunker up there. Um and you can do one. Another one. Yeah, we've got two turrets there, two there, uh one there actually. Okay, once we build the bunker, we'll go on turret duty. Um let's get two more marines. Your forces are under attack. We can't heal these guys yet, can we? Stimpaks might be the ability to do that. To the menu would say. Vultures are the bread and butter. Okay. Last couple minutes of Zerg will be throwing Zergling, Hydralisk, and Multilisk. Gotcha. Wait till you get siege tanks. You're gonna want more bunkers. Alright. We'll bunker it up. We'll, we'll, we'll bunker it up. Um, let's go there, make a little line of them. Well, you got three. Let's get three in each. Um, oh no. You stuck, brother? Out of there? Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Pathfinding, let's go. Um, you're the most damaged, so you can go in the new one. You go in there. You've already got four. Okay. Um, you can go in there. You can build another bunker here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Multilisk. Right, shoot him down with the frickin... Ah, uh, the AIM-120. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna need more of those. Great song. Alright, you're in there. How much are our turrets? 75. Alright, you just chill there. I don't mind wasting the... Oh, okay, so please take it. Can't heal marines until the expansion! Damn. Those guys are kinda... On the struggle bus, huh? Until the expansion. Um, that's... Go in there. Okay, so we're definitely putting like the damaged ones... <laughs> ...in the bunkers then. You got another anti-ear gun. You, we gotta learn our hotkeys too. We'll figure that out later. Um, and we just got the factory. So we can build more of these. 200, 100, okay, we've got like so much gas. Assuming this is before the days of like a resource trade. So where's Jim Raina gone? Is he just like going on a trip? Going on a holiday? Green gas is standard for multiplayer. Gotcha, that's by the way you get through. <laughs> Don't want to set high standards for convicts, they're true. Uh, you join the army. You can uh, you can serve, but we won't provide you medical supplies. Don't worry about it. Really invest in vultures. Really useful mines. Ah, oh, true. So the mines aren't a gym rainer. I thought they were a gym rainer ability, but they're an everyone ability. We're gonna have to build some more um, houses too. I'm I, I'm just calling them houses. All right. Um, you build. I don't remember what they're called. To supply depots. Oh, uh, gas generator. Oh, true, it runs out. Okay. Um, we do have a, quite a bit of gas. I don't know if there's any more around. Go have a look. Um, let's build one more missile turret. Um, I'll put it up there, huh? Okay, we're gonna have to repair this. No, get him. No! Yeah, so these are pretty, um, pretty spongy. They, they take some damage. 
Right, where's my engine here? Right, you are going to build a factory. 200. Just got minerals for now, then we'll... Um... Oh, they get armor too. What are you on? I need more vultures. Um, machine shop, spider mines. I can't get a machine shop. Go to factory, then a machine shop. Gotcha. Spider mines, mine. That's cool. Impact boost attack speed temporarily. Gotcha. All the hero abilities in Starcraft 1 are standard for those units. I see. Okay. So these guys will get spider mines. Where are you going? Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, stop. 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 Relax. <laughs> um, alright, let's build a factory. Let's go. Factory time. Um, okay, everyone's committed here. We're gonna go have a look, see if there's any more gas out here. Ah, so, uh, am I running the game at slow speed? I don't think so. I haven't changed the default. Seems to be clicking. I'm assuming this time would go faster if it was fast game speed. Maybe not. Um, yeah, let me know. The only difference is that they're more voice lines, and you can't let them die. Also, they're not even stronger. Pretty brutal. Mining the future. Nice. Yes, maybe no more gas. You have a lot of gas. Wait, they're still getting gas. Do you just get like reduced gas? We get 639. Okay, so maybe we just get a little. That's good to know. All right, factory's almost done. Yeah, right, we'll send you up here. So we're over halfway. We're doing it. We do want to mine the road though. So once you're done, we will build the machine shop. Chopper. And what's the fire bats to? The max population is 200, right? Alright, factory, machine shop. Okay. Yeah. okay, machine shop's an upgrade. Okay. Running at normal speed. Marines and bunkers can shoot air units flying, but they can't see cloaked. Gotcha. Starcraft 2 makes them more superheroes, right? Okay. Like Warcraft, I guess. Warcraft kind of style. Alright, we're doing the machine shop. Let's do it! The heroes have juice stats, okay. They seem pretty, um. Oh, that's a lot of guys, though. I want some grind turrets. Well, they are definitely sending some units at us. Right, you get over there. You get back up there. You can chill here. Oh man, yeah, the pathfinding is... Um, it's not the worst I've ever seen. That would... It's got to go to Age of Empires 1. But it's not... Um, Jesus Christ. Grace. Alright, where's my ACV? We gotta do some repair and boy. And we need more units too. Okay, machine shop. Spider mines. Alright, here we go. Vultures. Okay. I'm looking okay. I'm worried about how many units we're gonna be facing soon. Or we used to fast speed. Yeah, so that's why I don't like game speed, because it like people get used to the one they've always used and then they see anything else, it's like, ah, uh, this is like way way different. You can put fire bats in the bunkers too, gotcha. Okay, we'll actually put you guys in here. Uh is there a CV? You can repair that one. Okay. Looking alright? Oh, that's a cool little animation, is it? In the old art too. Yeah, nice. It looks cool. The old graphics look awesome. These look really nice. Yes. Do uh, I do dig it. these? All right. All right. But I do like the new ones too. It's kind of insane how they ballsed up uh, Warcraft Three Reforged so bad, but this is pretty good. Like, I I don't know what they were doing. We'll do that. Uranium shells. Yeah. Alright, we got mines. Place some mines. No problem. I dig. They get through here. And, uh, Ten minutes until drop ship arrival. Pathfinding moment. No problem. Yeah, you get through here. I dig. 
Alright, there we go. What are you on? We'll see what they do. Oh, they can just keep placing them, huh? Is that it? Yeah, they get three. Yep. Yeah, I'm going. Can you hear the vultures with the CVs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. What are, you on? are you asking me to do it? Because <laughs> I should be. Yeah, you can. Oh man, this guy's all right. You know what? You've served your time, brother. You're going back. You're going off the front line. You've served your time. Done your time. What are you on? All right, you can go over here. Having some pathfinding issues with you. I've got two. You can place yours over here. No problem. Makes me want to play Wings of Liberty. Yeah, I'm looking forward Something to playing. Um, yeah. I'll, reach you, sir. I'll be glad I played this one first. Is that it? No problem. Line it up. Yeah, I'm going. I love remasters that make the game look like how you remember. Yeah, that's the key, man. Like Age of Empires 2, like Definitive Edition, that's probably like the best in terms of making it look like how you remember. But then you look at the original, you're like, whoa, this looks. I'm not gonna say bad, but it looks way, you know, way worse comparatively. They did a really good job. I don't really want faster movement, frankly. My guys are fast enough. I want better pathfinding. That's my um, <laughs> that's my main want right now. I don't think that is... I don't think that's him. Starcraft 1 is fun, but definitely had some dated mechanics. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, it's hard to expect anything else. Anything else damaged here? Right, looking pretty good. Um, might put you in the bunker. Go in there as well. The vultures here. Yes. Alright, we're looking pretty good here. You got my attention. Want to turn on your mind? Any more mines? Yeah, I'll place going. you like there. Thanks for the tip about the mines. Yeah, you are uh, you're off duty. You've done your time. Don't really care about Stimpak, frankly. If we can't heal, I don't really want to have them lose any health. I don't care about the engine movement. Uh, you guys can go up here. You're full up. Alright, you're looking good. Homeworld Remastered did that for you? Yeah, Homeworld Remastered. It's got, it's got its issues, <laughs> for sure, but the graphics are not one of them. Are you looking to play Brood War as well? Yes. Yep. Yes. I wanna well I'm gonna be doing the video on this, so I gotta do the whole um the whole range. So we'll do um, all of the original and Brood War. And I'll probably try a bit with like the original release too. But I'll probably be playing most of it on the remastered. Because from what I've read it's pretty faithful and that's the way most people are gonna be playing it, so I feel like that makes the most sense. Only thing you need to know is don't spend all your money, or else you can't afford a building. Ah, uh, I see. So it doesn't give you like a free. Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Like stronghold, where it gives you a free woodcutter, no matter how much wood you. Oh, I see. The mines like do actually flip around. Is there a way to recharge how many mines you've got on a unit? Probably not. Hmm? Um, we'll get a few more vultures then. I'm pretty good up there. I think we'll get you guys up there. You got my attention. Put Marines in higher ground. Five minutes until drop ship arrival. Wiggling wave. Alright, good. Um, SCV. Oh, you got mines. Can you come through? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. In you go, in you, in you go, in you go, through you go, through you go, you've done it. He's figured it out. <laughs> Simpack is great in multiplayer, ah, okay. Yeah, and multiplayer StarCraft, um, to me, I gotta be honest with you guys, one of the reasons I haven't played StarCraft yet, for considering how many years I've done this channel, and, um, you know, how much people have asked me for StarCraft, 
Can't recharge mines. Um, no I'm scared, man. Starcraft's very intimidating. Yeah. No <laughs> Freaks me out. Especially multiplayer. Like, I don't, not that I intend on playing a lot of multiplayer or any. Um, but it's like the multiplayer community is like so entrenched. And it's and because of like the esport aspect, I'm just like, it freaks me out. Like, it's kind of not the RTS vibe I usually go for, which is not competitive, uh, not APM based. I just kind of like to have fun. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of people are like that too. So it's maybe I need to like represent the people a bit. I feel like RTS gets misrepresented as like this APM fest. You know, it's like, you can only have fun if you're like a hardcore gamer, it's like sweating over all your, in your inputs and your hotkeys and stuff. Whereas, people just want to have fun, you know? I gotta, I gotta be a voice for the people. Alright, can you go up there? No, alright, you're going up here. Um... Studio. Guys can fire down off hills, but who from the ground can't see up there without any support, okay. 35 minerals for 3 mines, plus a vulture <laughs> is very cost effective. You're right, I know, I'm complaining. I gotta be uh, happy with what I got. You can't build these up here, eh? We'll build like a back line, just so we kinda... A little bit of rear defense here, it's gonna ruin our pathfinding, but we're almost done. You only play StarCraft 2 co-op? Oh, I guess right from... I remember hearing that StarCraft 2 has good co-op, which is kind of sick because I do love a good co-op I guess. Play some of the old custom games once you reach StarCraft 2. Very happy to do that. A lot of um, good times playing custom Warcraft 3 of course, like everyone else. Not sure if we need any more population to be honest with you. But a few more marines, a few more vultures, we got the resources for it. Free to sell, so you can go on the bunker now that you uh, have a slot. Your forces are under attack. Yeah, here we go. You know what, we might sh maybe should have built more missile turrets. It's alright. Right, the mines are doing pretty good. Oh, they're hitting us on both fronts. Uh, you know what, the firebug should be down here for sure. Blast them! Yeah, doing work. Man, these are sick with like the the firebugs in the bunkers. Can't work here that. Like the flames firing out of it, these guys are cool. Yeah, there's a lot of Zerg. I'll catch up on chat in a sec, we're gaming right now. <laughs> Alright, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Nice. No problem. The main wave. Standing by. Outstanding. I think we're doing it. Need to tank for one one and a half minutes. Gotcha. I think we're good. Top oh, commanders is the only good mode in StarCraft 2. Okay. <laughs> Give me something to shoot. Let's move. I'm assuming you mean good co-op mode. Esports ruined StarCraft 2. They didn't make multiplayer under it. Made like the first game, esports team would have made more organically, right? Then they tried to force it. Sons of Korhal dropships approaching. A general who vastly changes your army's rules. That sounds pretty cool. Trap yourselves in, boys. All right, we've done it. Let's go. You love StarCraft 2 esports. All right, we've got some conflicting opinions. Seeing what could be done by a top percentile. Yeah, yeah, that's always impressive. It always, always makes me like, bro. Most players in these games never touch competitive multiplayer. I would say you're right. Elapsed time 27 minutes, but we had to survive for 30. Mm -hmm. Really makes you think. Did the last wave bug out? Um, it bug out. I'm not sure. It did seem like there wasn't really anything at the end. Pending an official investigation of your oh, affiliation with the Sons of Korhal. Receiving incoming transmission. Community plays co op a lot. Hey man. Hey man. Boy sprung me from hey man, what's ship. up, man? Hey dude. Apparently they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. Hey Arkham, good to see ya. Yep. 
we're here. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mar Sarah is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet. And yep. so are Rep planet. We. However, there is one thing I would like to do before we leave. Remember the last way of being more relentless. That's because I turned the cheat on that makes the game easy. Whatever weapon schematics that you can okay. find in their networks. That seems fine. I mean, we're leaving the anyway. No big deal. Of the Confederates' evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. I'm into it. Yeah, man. Let's go, dude. It's like a surfer guy. <laughs> like a surfer dude. That's a must survive mission. Uh, I think we're all caught up here. Let's go. Retrieve data disks. Rainer must survive. With the teleporters. Go. Here are Marines of Firebats. Have stim pack. Units race and iterate. Yeah, I don't want to use that. Oh, is this one of these kinds of missions? Alright, what have we got? Firebat. Oh, we can zoom? Dude, I just did that out of, like, habit. Oh, hey, look, look at this, man. We can zoom. Can you zoom in the original? I Surely not. Really? You always zoom in the original? I've never seen in the RTS this old that you can zoom. Like, at all. That's sick. On well, my mind. Alright, you've got squad one. You're gonna be, uh, the front line. You're gonna be squad two. Alright, ask the given a stim pack. I don't want to use stim pack. Yes. You don't understand. Naturally. Anytime you're ready. Yeah, let's do this. I'm assuming they'll give us some more units like as we go, maybe we'll find some prisoners or something. Oh my lord, what the hell? Oh right, we're in a Confederate base. The remaster allows for zooming. I wouldn't be surprised if it was in the original. It feels like we're on like a fucking like, like Diablo raid. That's another <laughs> another Blizzard game. Oh my god, it's the fucking uh, Robocop guy. Uh, oh my gosh, pathfinding. Get in there. Um. Okay, this might not be the best way to approach this, but sure, we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, I never played Diablo either. Can always restart if we uh, fumble this. Play Titan Quest? Let me play Diablo now. Can't zoom in the original. Yeah, that's cool, man. Get out. Seeing the pixels, yeah, you literally can. Alright, let's see how we go here. Start if we um, really fumbled the bag in terms of. We select all these guys. Fun. We got ten. Okay. Elias, the best here in Europe. Also, oh, can we build this later on? I'm looking forward to that. I'm making a beeline this way. Let's just see if we need to go the other way at all. The soundtrack is so good. Oh, yeah. Down here, see what's going on. We're looking for the data disk. I'm here for the key and the cash. Mm, big open room. Oh my god, alright, destroy that. Man, what are they doing in here? A little experimentation, perhaps? Unlock all the units by the end. Cool. Okay, so that's uh, just over here. So that's probably yeah. What, that be good. Uh, what is oh, that? Here yeah. in civilian. Hmm. Go ahead, Commander. I get the feeling there's something. Someone's up. The Tyran civilian, huh? CV. Where the hell are you going? <laughs> Please come back. 
canvas pathfinding at the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, not, we're not killing the civilians. Unless they attack us. Oh, no! Okay, destroy the SUV. They could use that as a weapon. For we'll leave the civilians alive. We're not here to kill civilians. You know? I guess we'll clear this area out since we. We're here for the key and the cash. We're not here to kill civilians. Okay, so that connects us up there. Alright, so we probably want to go this way. Could go that way too. I think we'll go up here. And I'm scared clicking a place that far away, the pathfinding's gonna, gonna struggle. Let's see if it can figure this out. Steps. Here they go. That's how you know they're using the original StarCraft 1 Pathfinding. Like playing the original Age of Empires. The original Age of Empires 1 definitive Pathfinding of that game it sucks ass. But it is the, you know, the proper Age of Empires 1 experience. the vibe going we got the vibe right on this should be good oh. right on we can oh, check in yeah. here was oh, that a data disc okay there's a marine killed marine leave the civilian in life oh it's a it's just the teleporter no 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 oh i had a family man uh, i don't i'm a little scared to use that teleporter i think we'll just go for a sec Let's see what's up. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, that doesn't seem good. Um, yeah, hmm. That door just gonna automatically open. Let's see what this looks like in the old visuals. <laughs> These look fine. These look pretty good. These little monsters. The new ones definitely look better. Yeah, wow, well, yeah, I could even tell that that guy looked like. Um, we'll leave that guy for now. Okay, that's the beacons. Maybe that was the teleport? Door is locked. You know what? That's probably a good thing. I think that's... Alright, let's take the beacon. Rebel scum, eh? Oh, you pricks. Not cool, guys. Very not cool. Did they ever open that door? Yeah, they totally did. Yep. Don't you? Believe it. I saw Zerg with the Confederate holy pens myself. Oh wow, well, I see. A year ago. It's clear the Confederates have known of these creatures for some time. For all we know, they could be breeding the things. Be that as it may, our priority here is accessing the Confederate. I see what's going on here. We'll deal with the Zerg another day. They are. Oh yeah. They are having a bit of a. Bit of a moment, aren't they? A bit of a Zerg moment. Oh wait, these are my friends? No, they're just chilling. Uh, I thought I'd be able to control them. And we're about to impossible creatures there us. Okay, um, let's go down and try this beacon then. Plus we'll go this way. Damn, I thought we were gonna like... <laughs> be able to rip those guys on the Confederates. We'll go this way, then we'll do the beacon. And they really made this soundtrack go hard. What is this mission for? So, we're just, just before, halfway. Oh, no, oh, I didn't mean to kill a civilian. You guys stay there, you're fine. You see there's nine missions per um, faction? And it's all a continuous story, right? Like Warcraft, Warcraft 3. Where it all kind of cycles through one main um, campaign. Or one like kind of interconnecting campaign. I guess there's no need for spoilers, we'll find out. Oh yeah. Alright, this right maybe we need three data discs. I oh, know, just the data discs. This should be good. Sounds fun. Give me the data disc. Right on. Sounds fun. 
everyone down here. So we've got this big area we haven't looked at yet. Right on. That should be good. Right on. Another beacon. Okay. Oh. That should be good. What's that? Right on. Sounds fun. Right. Right on. Okay. Oh yeah. Here, beacon. I guess we're gonna use this, huh? Let's do it. Where are we going? Nice. Alright, oh, yeah. good job. We've successfully teleported and not turned into like sludge while doing it. That's good. Starcraft was the first Blizzard game where all the campaigns connect. That's uh, unauthorized entry, eh? What kind of unauthorized entry are we talking about here? Is what the, what was before this directly? It was Warcraft 2, right? Have you heard of the mod Chronicles of the Second War for Warcraft 3 or Warcraft 3 Reforged? No, I haven't. Is it a. Sounds like a conversion? Is it a conversion mod? I forgot that we need to make sure our Jimmy, our surfer mate Jimmy, doesn't die. We'll just um, keep an eye on him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That should be good. Sounds fun. Gotta be our um, final count. Right on. Sounds fun. Oh yeah. Oh, sniper. Waste him, waste him, waste him. Oh, yeah. Getting a little low on units here. Now, I gotta say it's nice to be playing a game that oh, isn't a yeah. uh, total war. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys are uh, up with the updates I've been putting on, mostly Twitter I guess, um, but uh, yeah, there hasn't been a video in a while, there is one coming, it is a big one, very big, on um, Total War Rome 2, uh, okay, cool, um, that's basically all I've been playing for like 6 weeks, I'll be like, over a hundred hours in um oh that's it probably like over a hundred hours across Rome 2 and some other Total War games for the video so I'm still edit I'm editing the audio now which is good so we're kind of getting near having it done probably the next week or two but um it's huge it's like it'll be probably an hour and a half it's all I've been playing so it's nice to play something else. oh this oh right I see Aren't Alpha Squadron our buddies, or are they? They are the Confederacy. Oh, these the these the. Earth guys. Okay. Good job. We did it. In the wake of the chaos resulting from the Zerg invasion, the Sons of Coral escaped with the data disks. Nice work, guys. We did. Fleeing to the border colony of Antigua Prime, Arcturus' group now plans its next crucial moves against the Confederacy. I've been playing StarCraft games for decades, but I'm only just getting into Total War. Are you the Mirror, mirror Universe aid? Yes. Yes, you are. 13 hours after the evacuation of Marsada, Protoss warships took up orbit around the colony and unleashed a massive planetary bombardment. Oh, wow. So I guess the Protoss want to, like, I'm just guessing here, because I don't know anything about the lore. I'm going to guess here that the Protoss don't necessarily hate the humans. They just need to eliminate the Zerg. It's going to be like a, we got to eliminate the Zerg at all costs kind of, um, kind of, kind of faction. And they're, we're probably going to team up against the Zerg. They're going to be like an infestation. And right now the Protoss are like, yes, yeah, sorry. If the Zerg are on your planet, we're, um, we're glassing it. Hey man, headquarters is hey man. Hey surfer this. dude, any good waves we recently? Shortly. I hope whatever's on those discs is worth it. Mm, me too. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Mix. Oh, Kerrigan. You and Captain Reyna have done well, Commander. Pretty much. I believe <laughs> our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip. Fringe worlds. Oh, so Kerrigan's from of these, this group. Okay. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command. Okay, okay. I'll get straight to the point. 
Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there, under the command of General Duke. It will be There's a little more to it, we find out more in Protoss campaign. Yo Arkham, thanks bro. Thanks for the super chat, that is the first super chat we've ever had. Thanks man. Thanks for the 5 quid. 44,000 Australian dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's 44,000 Australian, you should see how many New Zealand dollars it is. Good to see normal person RTS gameplay. Any new genres on the channel this year? Um, probably not, honestly. Um, I think this year is going to be a bit of a return to roots, maybe? I don't know. Frankly, there's probably going to be less videos, but they're going to be better. Kind of the idea. I'm thinking I'm, I'm probably going to make some sort of update video about it. Um, yeah, I'll probably do an update video. A bit of an update on what's going on. But thanks for the super chairman. This is the first time that the campaign contradicts the manual. The Protoss leader vows to never glass another planet. Yeah, he does it here. Gotcha, I see. Never will I glass another planet. Ah, oh, I glassed a planet. Both the Tyran Wraith and Ghost have the ability to cloak. or cloaked, they are safe from attack. Unless spotted by it. What have we got here? Few Marines, few other boys. Jimmy's here and is a surfing motorbike. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so we are bring Kerrigan to the command center, defeat the rebels, bring in Kerrigan with us. Right. Um, well, we don't have Kerrigan yet. I haven't helped, can't help but notice. So uh, I guess we'll find her. I guess she's somewhere. She's got to be somewhere. What's the time over there? Come, is it like like eight PM? Eight thirty-eight? Six thirty-eight? Oh, that's clear. I was about to, I was about to blast her. Whoa! Relax. Thinking what? Look, let's just get on with this, okay? He actually a telepath? Rainer here. Lieutenant Kerrigan reporting. There is it. Are they joking about that? There's your real Sarah. Oh, true, Sarah Kerrigan. I get it. That's probably where I got the Sarah from, Frank thinks it's like, ah, oh, robot lady. Thinking the same thing. Actually, no, like in, uh. Oh, man. The, um. She's looking better, huh? <laughs> looks like, um, in the old, the old graphics, she looks like, uh. Looks like someone you would meet in a tent in the 1400s to get um, the hottest apothecary uh, potions to fix your uh, child's illness. Yep. Alright, let's do this. Ghosts are all telepaths. Mm, okay. Oh, we gotta get her voice lines. Hold on. We gotta do the voice line. You can see his dirty thoughts here, apparently. What's the mod model like? Gotcha. Yeah. The same thing. Just pixels. Alright, let's see the voice side. What now? I'm waiting on you. I'm ready. Lieutenant Kerrigan reporting. Easily amused, huh? Doesn't take a telepath to know what you're thinking. <laughs> what does that mean? You get off on annoying people, don't you? No. Alright, I do like the voice lines. I'm trying to think of the best ones from Warcraft 3. Isn't there one where a peon just starts like talking about accounting or something? It's just like completely out of character. I can't remember. It's been so long. But I do remember them being pretty funny. Alright, so what's she got here? Got a cloak? Um, so Jimmy's got the mines. Okay, so she's a ghost, I get it. So she's the ghost unit and she gets... yeah. The sniping rifle. So what's the purple at? It's her mana. Cloak 25. Lockdown. Over the lockdown. Nice. 
A goofy skit. I love you, side cinematic. <laughs> the film that suck up to Ryan Moon called Quirky is perfectly fine. Yeah, that was, it was kind of a tonal, um, tonal oddity. Put it that way. Well, I like it. I dig it. I'm just gonna leave you guys in the back. I don't want. Oh, that's an E unit. What is that? Tear and Wraith. Yeah, look at this guy. That guy's. I'm kind of sick with it. So she can attack the E. Um. We're gonna bring them there, right? Bring them to the command center and defeat the rebels. Very well. Very well. Very well. Let's go, Sierra. Sierra and Jimmy. My best two best friends, Sierra and Jimmy. Sierra can use cloaking to sneak past forces. Missile towers. Can... Alright, so they want us to use cloak. Lockdown target mechanical unit gets disabled. 60 seconds. Okay, so that could seem. Just um, let's blast that. Uh, no, okay, you know what? I changed my mind. Whoops. No, 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 no. I'm missing kiss here, okay. Uh, okay. 6.45 p.m. in the UK. Hey, so I was right. Happy Saturday evening. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with this. There's no other way. Alright. Let's get him. The units come out of the bunker when it dies. We're about to find out. Sure do. Okay, that was pretty heavy on our units, so hopefully we don't have to do too many of those. Attacking doesn't break cloak? Ow. Alright. Are these all one offs? Like, can we just recharge? Oh, it's, it's going down. Okay. We'll figure that out, it's the game. The detecting unit. Oh, look at that thing. Tyr and Goliath. That's pretty fine. That's a pretty solid upgrade in terms of visuals. What about the Wraith? Oh, yeah. It's fine. Man, they really did get a nice uplift there. Pretty funny how Jim is basically a main character and the player character is an NPC. <laughs> no possibility to disagree with him. At Wings of Liberty, they didn't even bother with player character. Yeah, that probably makes more sense, honestly, just to not have like a player character you you just be, be the rts guy who just controls the units like It'd be a pleasure. you know command and conquer did the player character very well but a lot of rts's probably don't need to bother It'd be a pleasure. this is an example especially one with like characters they can do their own stuff um okay so pleasure. we're cloaking here yeah? game froze no oh jesus all right <coughs> Yeah, good job. Good job, sir. That's right. We've tolerated these Confederate goons long enough. Mm. Oh, wow. Get wasted. Um, wait, what ones are ours? We'll just let it resolve itself. Some of them are ours, some of them are not. Okay, good man. Okay, he's still up. Commander, right. We're good. Strike force on our Confederate strike force, eh? Yep. Yeah. Yes, Alright, SCVs, let's go. Oh, we can build the thing, let's go. Terran Starport. Drop ship. Save now. Okay. I will. I will take your advice. Save now. We're gonna get stun locked by um, figuring out what all these units are. I like how the unit. I think someone mentioned it earlier, but um, like the player colors have different actual colors. 
the different factions in, in the team. But Jimmy and Sarah are light blue, and the original Marines we have are red, but these guns are purple. It's good, um, good teaching. I only want to see you go just repair them. You're over there. Um, do we have a barracks? Down here we do, right? Yeah. Alright, you just on mineral duty, as are you. Tank from Breaking Bad, look at us. Define your no units in them, we should probably Not enough minerals. You replay this game every four years, the music always blows you away. So many good bangers. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing what the other factions have going for the music. But so far, all the Terran songs have been pretty good. We'll get um we'll get gas soon. Probably want spider mines. Wraith is fast, light fighter with cloak, they die easy. Okay. Gotcha. Dropship I presume is like a transport. Based on that name. It's Makes sense. We got squads full of guys there. Are these guys red? Oh hell yeah, more red guys. Um, might get you guys in the bunkers. That one, perhaps. I don't think we have guys coming down from there. Or marines. We now survive. Oh, we're gonna destroy the base. Reno and Kyrgyz must survive to destroy the base. Oh, okay. I thought uh, they said they were taking up. That's fine. We'll send them. You gotta research the clock. Gotcha. Group more speeds, build a second command center. Yep. Okay. This is Jimmy. I'm with you. Okay, this is slowly recharging. Good. And we'll take you. 2400. off for a sec. Um, I'll put you in the bunker for now, but pretty good chance we take them out of the bunker and move on. Um, Alright, let's see 400, you're building a command center. Harvesting. How much did they bring a trip? Eight. Not a lot. Upgrade for that. I do, I'm always going to think that's an upgrade button. <laughs> You drop ships so you can fly them over the river. Ah, okay, I see. Ah, I see. It goes across the whole map. Gotcha. Alright, my shell. We need a control tower. I'll build this, um... Oh, we build this. Search. Alright. Are you working? Get to work. Right, so it's a classic base destroying mission. I do respect that we're like, what, five missions in? Yeah, we haven't had like a single just like build base destroy enemy mission yet. I'm sure there'll be more of them, but that's a pretty good sign. Got some restraint, showing restraint in their uh, game design. If I remember correctly, there's a small base in the south part of the map. Okay. Well, we will find it. If, um, yeah. Alright, let's build a dropship and see what they look like. Okay, see what they do. Go over there halfway, cool. Give me to shoot. You guys are going to be the new front line. We'll fill up. We don't need another barracks up here. Back in some vultures. I need some gas soon. Get any way more CVs actually. And some more supply depots. Small base is close to the barracks. Are we down here? We could have a look with the wraith we have, huh? Standing by. SCP good to go, sir. Standing by. Bring it on. Almost up. Orders, Orders go, I guess. The dropship. See what the unit model looks like. Whew! Really, I kind of overdid it with the lipstick, yeah. huh? Watch these missions so many times because of grind. Yeah, I get ya. Yep. He's a bit of a StarCraft dude. Alright, what's our voice lines here? Destination. Input coordinates. Your forces are under oh. attack. 
ruined it. Go ahead, HQ. Destination? Input coordinates. I'm listening. When removing your overhead luggage, please be careful. In case of a water landing, you may be used as a flotation device. Wow, that's nice. To hurl chunks, please use the vomit bag in front of you. <laughs> Keep your arms and legs inside until this ride comes to a full and complete stop. Destination? Pretty good. We actually didn't hear the right through the Reporting yeah. in. Go ahead, Commander. Reporting in. Uh. Go ahead, Commander. They're gravely. You're in one, what do you mean? You know who the best starfighter in the fleet is? Yours truly. Everybody's gotta die sometime, Red. I am invincible. That's right. Reporting in. There's a lot of those ones. They're pretty good. Alright, buddy. You're on the front line. Once see the comset upgrade, you can see to sweep. Yeah, that's a uh, smart idea. Get me. Oh, we need the yelling. We need the yeah. Do that now. Oh, that's the starport. Cool. Get me. We've got some resources, we can do some stuff. It's a good thing about listening to voice lines. Roger. Okay, yep. I guess we'll just do a scan now. Huh? Oh no, they're gonna follow us. What's that? A water beast? Roger. Okay. Now we got a one. Yeah, you go on there, you've read a few of those. We get the academy out, we'll do a scan and we'll see what the hell is going on out there. And it's even cool, so they did the upgrade and it goes and it's red because we're red, but the original ones are still purple. That's the imagery, so longer cloak essentially. Alright. Uh, that's not good. I thought they were us. That's not good. That's not good at all. Might be risky. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're all over it. <laughs> That's never not gonna make me laugh. Alright, give us uh, this. We've built everything now. Oh, we've got an engineering bay yet. We need, we've got those. Alright, you guys are gonna get to work. We're we doing some more gas them as well. We only got one on gas. Go on gas. This can get you. Alright. Alright, since the sweep. What do we got? Okay. Mini base. Uh, only two wraiths. Oh, so they're moving probably down here to here. How often can we use that? That uses a uh, thing. We build another one. They're pretty cheap. Um, so let's build a few wraiths then. For a bit of that too. Yep. Yeah. We're 33, 43 out of 52. Let's build a couple of these. I can we go scout down the bottom. We'll put the sensor sweep here. We'll outnumber the wraiths by um, two to one. And then we'll get some land trips and go see what's going on. We'll get some dropships too. Alright, let's have a look. And here, probably. Oh, yep. Tyrion Goliath. A couple of Goliaths. Alright, nothing too bad. Go with those guys. Um, I have a missile turret. Yeah, I get a couple up here. The game doesn't tell you, but there are damage categories on each unit. E.g. fire bats and rainer. Do full damage on small infantry, but only 25 on buildings. Probably in the menu, I presume. Also upgrade wraiths with cloak. Enemy race will cloak and you'll need comsat to reveal them. Gotcha. Thank you for that. We'll do that now. Alright, you guys can join our frontline force here, which is 
We are messing with it. Uh, right, engineering base done. You go and be a upgrade. Need more gas. How much gas do we need? I can't put the glides, you can. Uh, I would like to. Alright, uh, we'll get the dropship over here. Oh man, he's slow, dude. And the race take quite a while to build. Train. Construct. Uh, we could do this one actually. Alright, so we only really have two wraiths down there. If we bring four, we should be able to deal with them. Nothing against training a few units here as well. One more coming. I like how you can research in, um... Hey, Drithic, how are you, man? I did hear about that. That was like another, uh... Questionable rumor. You need a few dropships to fly all your units. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll waste these guys first. Research. Well, I guess we can do the dropship now. Um, who do we have one? Maybe we'll just start moving these guys now. Well, let's test. How many can, can these go in here? Yes. I mean, it's a, how many can we fit? Oh my god, look at that stretch! I know, I, I know what they're trying to do. That does look funny though. It looks worse than the new one, I think. It looks like it's just like stretched out. Alright, so we're in, yeah, we're gonna need a couple more. Alright. Oh, supply depots. Uh, let's get you. Get us. We can't queue them up. Upgrade complete. Yeah, I don't want them to get destroyed. Alright. We're almost ready here. The machine shop. I really care about those. Yeah, I think the new graphics are... I, I don't like saying better. I think they're easier to... I think they're better now. But like, these are pretty impressive for the day. Especially with the moving stuff, like the actual like, animated models and the details. I think the I think the original graphics are like be quote unquote better in terms of like to look at considering the time, but overall I think the new ones are a lot easier to live with. And they still look really good. Probably worlds there. If that makes any sense at all. Alright, let's get one um S is right. Let's do two more of those. Research the engine for the race. Yes, yes, thanks for the reminder. Mm, perfect. Makes it keeps them longer, right? Keeps their mana going longer. Alright. Here's my dropship. Oh, did I not build another one? Did I forget? Oh, I didn't have the supply depot. Graphics are better, but the art direction is excellent both. Yeah, that's a pretty good way. Yeah, they're, they're different. I gotta um, put this up on the CRT, like the original. That was pretty good. It required the HD version so we could see. There's actually a marine spinning around in the missile turret, is there? Oh shit, there is! Look at him go! Dude, he's having the time of his life. <laughs> Nostalgia's too strong. Yeah, I think I agree. I think the remaster team did a good job with the graphics. But yeah, it's hard to. Get over the nostalgia. Ah, uh, you can just see him, yeah. You'd never notice though without the zoom. And uh, maybe you would, maybe you'd notice the legs, but... Go ahead, that's pretty HQ. funny. In transit, HQ. More dropships, more troops. Gotcha. Yeah. Don't worry, we're building. I think we've got this guy building more too. Build some fire bats. Oh, more gas. gas. Uh, probably just built them all on the dropships, huh? What do they cost? Are there a hundred gas per dropship? Jeez. No wonder we don't have any gas. We can go up to 200 here. We should probably start, um... Should be expanding this. Alright, 
All right, so these guys can cloak. Why does this game do everything in eights? Is that th Am I imagining that? Or is everything done in eights? Like the resources come in eights. The, the, the houses give eight housing. Um, something else was an eight. Alright, we'll go to... Uh, Three must seem to do a good job, but not without controversy. They wanted to recolor the High Templar's eyes to blue to make them more aligned with StarCraft 2, but people raged and they reversed it. Seems like a, a little thing to rage over, frankly. But, you know, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe that's some heavy lore changes for no reason. What's the deal with that? What's wrong with them being blue? Alright, in the shifts, let's go. Um, alright. Down there, do we have units up here still? Oh yeah, in the bunkers, I don't really want to, um... Take them off the bunkers, we kind of need the defences. And we can't build any sort of, um... Land-based, land attack turret? Seems that all the turret, well the only turret we have is a uh, the ear, the ear attack. All right, we're gonna go see what's up. We're gonna go take these guys out. Ah, uh, oh, I need the. Kind of wish once you build the upgrade, they could put all the um, you know, all this on one screen. The of the protest gets much more messy. <laughs> what color their eyes are? Okay. Oh, then what color their eyes are? Alright, we're gonna cloak. Let's do it. Roger. You want a piece of me, boy? Other races get it, but not the Tyrion. Fair enough. Tyrion always getting snubbed. Oh, these can man, that cloak attacking, not breaking cloak is wild. It's crazy. So if they can't detect you, you just you just waste him. Insane, man. Did, did the AI get um access to the the skin that you do as well? Don't seem to be using it if they do. Why not StarCraft 2? Uh, because I haven't played StarCraft 1, and I'm going to start here. But I will be doing StarCraft 2 once I've finished this one. You're a piece of meat, boy. Why does that light do that? Every like half hour it just dims and then it will brighten back up. I've got it on USB power, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Let's take these guys out. Does it damage the proc plus the Zerd hive? Did they? And it's good. This is what I mean about StarCraft. There's so much like stuff to know. <laughs> stuff like, you know, they did this, they did that. Kirins have no ground fire turret, they got siege tanks though. Alright, once we've um, softened these guys up a bit more, we'll land the ground troops. We've got so many resources, man. We're gonna be building some more uh, these. And one, two. Protoss returned from space police. Hundreds of planets to a dying species with one planet that gets conquered immediately. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. spoilers. That's right. We'll learn it. Not sure if the remaster changes the AI, but it gets one more confident in the expansion. Okay. Actually, have a few guys here. They keep dropping more dudes. Oh, we'll blast them. The zoo get turned into an invasion to a Kerrigan prop. Yeah, I, I got that vibe even without, like, you know, knowing um, anything about StarCraft. I mean, all you have to do is watch, like, the Heart of the Swarm cinematic trailer, right? That pretty much tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> Kerrigan's the one. Wait, is that the same Kerrigan I'm controlling right now? Yes, it is. I missed that. Red eyes 
Brito, Protoss, the easy ones. Green eyes. Okay, we'll, we'll figure out the eye color later. <laughs> So we are going to run out of cloak eventually here, but we can pull on that um, upgrade. They have um, air yeah, turret over here. Oh. Where did these guys come from then? Where are they building them? They can attack these, right? Uh, unload all. Get them, get them, get them. I don't know if you got this tip, but you should save occasionally because there's no auto saving. Yes, I need to do that more. I, I have saved um, this mission, but I should save again. Absolutely. Yeah, the dropships are so slow. Oh, they do speed up, actually. I lie, I lie, I lie. Oh no, I, I shudder to think of this pathfinding we're about to experience here. Ah. All right, you guys come back here. We'll, um, some more. Yeah, Marines. We can do climates. Do rates. Um, fly depots. All right, let's get him. Who's this guy? Tip. Okay, he's well stuck. Right, you're getting in the dropship, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's going well with spoilers. Yeah, I mean, I, to be fair, like, I don't expect to not have spoilers for a game that's like 30 years old. It's unreasonable to assume. I want people to be able to talk about it. It's, it's okay. Obviously, don't just, you know, drop spoilers just for the, the fact that you're spoiling it, but I don't think anyone's doing that. Having some discussion. Healthy discussion. Damn moment in Mission 9. I think the big stuff in campaigns like these usually aren't the most important ones too. Oh, you mean you didn't even drop. Um, it's usually like the little things that are kind of harder to spoil that I think tend to be the most impactful when you're actually playing. Like, uh, I don't know, like in Warcraft 3, it's like you could spoil that Arthas becomes the Lich King. Whoa, spoilers. But I think the best moment in that campaign is probably like the smaller ones when like him and Jaina are like talking and, you know, you're like trying to convince each other to join each other and they're like both like sad that they can't and yeah. It's like a harder thing to spoil. It's, it's like, oh, they talk to each other. Whoa, spoilers. So I think I tend to fall on that side. But the big ones don't tend to. Especially for a game this old, where everyone knows the big moments already. Alright, we are looking good. Got one more of those, you can do the same. One goes hard, man. Then the Zerg into the turn, it's... Starcraft 1, they look like damaged organs. Yeah, I haven't seen many Zerg buildings yet. And we saw a couple of... Uh, no, we didn't. We saw a... We saw a, um, Terran building. With a Zerg, uh... uh corruption, I guess? I don't think that's how they were looking at. Oh, there's that light again. Sorry about that. Oh, um, next time we'll get the lighting. A bit better. I was just going to use my room light, but man, the room light looks awful. So I did the, the nicer light, which doesn't look great still. I do want to um, do a bit of work on that, but you know. Alright, um, they're probably down here, I'm going to guess. Yep. Alright, we're going to save before we um, get in there. We shouldn't save over. Did they have ear tower? Yes, one, two, might have some down here. Let's just see if they do, because if not, we can get those of you guys in there and just have a wee look. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah, they got quite a few guys, huh? Okay, we're going to need to do a land grant. Alright, you can be team one. We no real sneaking in here. If we take this guy out, we can sneak down the bottom and then cloak. 
Let's do that. Yes. All right, your team two. Jesus, what the hell was that? Didn't even, didn't even see what that was. Uh, you. Uh, I don't want. I want Kerrigan and um. I want Kerrigan and Jimmy on their own teams. As in, like one team I can control together. The team. Ah, oh, oh, I fucked it up. Ah. Okay, your team four. Your team two. You guys are team three. Saving might save you later. <laughs> yep, you're absolutely right. Not super important in the earlier missions, but I could see Kerrigan getting one shot by a spider mine or something, <laughs> forcing you to start over. Yeah, that would be um, that'd be a good meme. Definitely had things like that happen in other games before. All right, ground force. Let's go. Get this out. You guys, cloak up. Alright, ground force is going to go down the south here, or the air force rather. Want your turrets around here? Alright, you guys, take that out. Make pretty short work of that. Alright, your squad three. Alright, we're looking good. Oh, they were enemy spider mines. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I'm glad they can attack you. Yeah, that's quite useful. Oh, we've got, we got more guys here. We, we're loaded, man. Uh, who was it? You? Yeah. Yeah. Since this week. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, right there. Go with that. Hey, have you heard about Cloak? <laughs> We got lots of air power up there. Anti air power, I should say. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> this cloak's like insane. They're gonna run their cloaks in there. We'll drop this and then uh, move in. This feels too slow. Alright. Always play the fastest speed. Yeah, I'm. I'm I'll die. <laughs> Alright, pick off a few more of these guys, then we'll move in. There's a turret up there. Roger. Roger. Dropship. Right, try and take that out, and then we'll move these guys out. Grab the air turret over there. Alright, go, 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 get out of there. I mean, they got a pretty good range, huh? Alright, boys, we're doing it. They had copyright issues with Zerg, did they? Against, what, Warhammer? I've... Yeah, no, yeah, Warhammer, Warhammer 40k, yeah. The only one I can think of. Alright. Do it! They're appearing in the command center. Gotcha. Yes. Alright, we can move you guys in now. Oh, the control... is that? I don't know if I've ever seen that in another RTS, or maybe I've just never used it. But the control click to... Um, Select all units of that type. It's really nice. They are repairing it. Go get them. <clears throat> it's a very nice uh, quality of life thing. Zerg from Toy Story. Ah, oh, true, true, true. Man, what a throwback. Nice. We're doing it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright. 
think we got this one in the bag. I don't want to get a frog in your throat when you're streaming, but um, there may be a frog in a throat while I'm streaming. Alright. Uh, presume wants us to take out everything. The we will. Alright, gone, gone. Get those guys out, might be a couple of things up there. Alright, you're out. Got a wraith up there. I like how some of them can attack here, that's useful. Yeah. The full objective, destroy the confederate base. Yeah. Okay, wherever oh no, that's it. That's a that's a W. That's a game. Nice. Very good. Eight minutes. That's not true at all. What's up with this elapsed time? That's like it's not even like remotely close. The last one was thirty minutes, that's said twenty seven. So this is eight minutes. That took us like that was like half an hour. Maybe it's to do with the game speed, but oh, cutscene, cutscene, shh, 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 cutscene, cutscene. Not quite the cutscene I was hoping for, but that's fine. No red two, yeah, okay. It appears that the Confederates are in a state of panic about the Antiguan revolt. I'm picking up a high number of Confederate transmissions going back and forth between their outposts and their headquarters on Parsonis. Most of the transmissions are heavily coded, but wait, the code. here's something. Oh, I'm covering Kerrigan for you. Sorry. <clears throat> Wait, is this the guy? We hate this guy. Zerg, here? Serves him right. About time they got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Jim, I want you to Jim. In and save Jim. the base. I'm positive I didn't hear that right. Arturus, have you lost your mind? Listen, I know Duke's a cold-hearted bastard, but an entire colony... Yeah, and he, like, to suffer tried to kill that. us. That's true. Besides, a Confederate general could prove to be a powerful ally. This is an opportunity we cannot miss. This mission can be cheesed. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to do it. Yes. You ever just aim down sights on your gun through on webcam? Just as you're chatting. Alright. Here in dropships for units quickly between areas. Okay, I have used the dropship, I think. Protect the battle cruiser. Bring Raina and two dropships. Protect an entire battle cruiser? We just like guys. I don't know if you've noticed. Anytime you're ready. Go ahead, Commander. We're just a couple of a couple of dudes. We're protecting an entire battle cruiser. Um, we're not gonna save just yet because it's start of the mission. But... All right. Mum says I can't get too close to the TV, so I gotta use my scope. Yeah, that's true. Me too. I'm like aim down sights so I can see the see the TV in the distance. The points in the red will burn. Oh, that's a nice mechanic. 
And this repeated. That's cool. That's pretty forward thinking for 1990 whatever. It's 95. Seven. Five's too early. Hey, seven or eight. The blue Zerg. Yeah, I saw that. Is that rare? Is it like a, um, it's like a shiny Pidgey in uh, Pokemon? Oh, that's, that's the ship? Damn, dude. That's, um, that's some scaling right there. I thought Empire Earth had the worst scaling. Starcraft, hold my beer. Bruh. You can leave that on fire. We need to go save the ship. Go. And if you're interested in the cheese, um, we'll see. We'll leave it for now. What the hell is that? Am I allowed to show that on YouTube? Wait, do we die in this? Oh yeah, we totally do. This is like, uh... Okay, well that was good to figure out, I guess. It's like Warcraft 3, um... Undead... Scourge. <laughs> There's a real scale mod for Starcraft 2. Quite the spectacle. Yeah, we'll go up here. We may be restarting this mission, by the way. Uh, yeah, jeez. Blue Zerg is, uh... So from the way he spoke on voice, on the voice comms, he sounded like, um... He really wanted us to, like, come save him right this second. But I guess he's got, he's got firepower. We can build up a bit. So maybe we will save it. Just remember, save now too. Actually, it's probably good I make these save games, because then I can go back and record the end of the missions. <laughs> For the YouTube videos, so people don't think I'm just, like... Playing the first mission and then making a video on it. It's good to show that you've actually played it. Alright, we'll just chill here for a bit then. Um, we'll build up. We need some more uh, CVs. We need way more. We're gonna guess too. You're in for a treat if you see the Dark After a Rescale mods. It sounds cool. I, I struggle to think how that would work for like an actual ITS game. Like, wouldn't that just really break like like if you had this like real scale better shit wouldn't it just take up the entire screen <laughs> don't attack heavily entrenched yep <laughs> yeah i figured that part out <laughs> decent amount of time to build up on this one cool right. battle quiz later on will be beasts all right and what we should do is we should s the name of this this is um here in mission six save one we should actually name these properly so we know for later when i make the video what things are so we can easily um you know, easily save them um, and come back to them Not enough minerals. 14 degrees in seattle fahrenheit i'm presuming it's fahrenheit if you're in seattle i don't know i gotta see what 14 degrees is in fahrenheit keep repairing Oh, do we have control of these dudes? Oh, we do! Oh man, you're a genius. Alright, you've, you've truly done it. Oh my god. No. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna load that. Pathfinding moment. Oh, and I want to see what um, 14 Fahrenheit is in Celsius. Minus 10 Celsius? That is... That's real cold, man. It's pretty hot here. I kind of actually wish I was in minus 10, frankly. Oh, no, oh we're going to guess to appear. Um, yeah, it's pretty hot here. Uh, it's 23 degrees just now, and it's just it's 8 in the morning. It's supposed to be 30 today. It's like... Oh my god, that's quite funny. Um, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It's probably like 100 or something. I gotta look it up now. 30 C is eight, okay, 100, okay, not quite. 100 Fahrenheit is pretty hot. That's 86 Fahrenheit, 30 C. 
luckily I've got this, as you can tell, it's like, it's a fully bright outside, but I've got these like huge blackout curtains. And um, they do pretty well at, basically in the morning, it keeps the room pretty cool. But as the day gets on, usually about mid-morning, like 11 a.m., the heat starts to like really get through the, you know, because the blinds or the curtains have become hot. Then the room starts to get really hot as well. And uh, it gets pretty hot in here. So that's why I'm, another good reason why I'm doing this in the morning. Because it's going to be cooking in here in a couple of hours. This view of Goliath pathfinding, yeah, that was an interesting one. It's like click here, just walks up there. Have you guys been by this? No, we lost one anyway. Oh my god. Um. We can build over there too, I guess. Okay, this is an interesting mission. So we've got to like manage both um both things here. Do you mean they're going to attack us here too? Not enough minerals. Yeah, we'll see. SCP good to go, sir. Oh, so this is the uh, rescale mod. Let's you zoom out farther and they sit above the normal camera. A little janky, but well done. That's the best kind of mod, you know? A little janky, but, but well done. <laughs> Alright. You're on there. You're on there. Got enough supply buildings for now, just to be okay, to be comfortable. Um, you guys... Oh my lord, what the hell is that? Zerg Overlord? Jesus, it was um, really large. Oh, what the hell? I was wondering what that sound was. Get out of here. Huh? Huh? Get off my, get off my lawn. Where's the bunker with you? You micro well enough, you can finish this mission with way below pop cap. Okay. Well, you know, I am a micromanagement god, so... That's a joke. Certainly not a micromanagement god, but we'll see. Start building up here. Why is she in all of our buildings? Is that one lady? Or is this... Uh, do we have like a hundred of these ladies controlling our buildings? Like some like cyborg hellscape. Um, we need more minerals, man. Uh, need factory, yeah. Need to really upgrade here too. 200 for factory. We'll do that now. Invest in your future. Good advice for everyone. Invest in your future. Um, we can repair that. There's one. She's the adjutant. Okay, so it's the adjutant. There are not many adjutants. Base Siri. <laughs> I'm thinking like, um, why 40k, like servitors. That's, there's not mini server. there's like mini servitors, right? Oh my lord, that is not okay. She's not, a, she's not a like, attractive servitor, is what you're telling me. There's just one of her. Unfortunate. Maybe other tier factions also have their own agents. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Like a law thing. Not enough minerals. There are many like them, but this one's mine. I see. That's a good way of explaining it. Yeah. I gotta I rewatched that movie in a months ago. Good movie. All right, we got a lot of gas, so we can repair the better ship. Nice. You like power on the guns or something? Yeah. Something like that. Give us a bit of firepower. Right, let's build the armory. Did I build an armory last game? I did. Machine shop. Raid. There we go. Uh, Train marines, we're good. And the boys. And the boys on patrol. Yeah, you can repair that finally. You've survived long enough to be uh, deserving of a repair. Alright. They're doing well. <clears throat> Mineral harvesting. How many do we have here? Is it probably like, like 5k or 8k maybe? Hey, minerals. 
Dream Sharp. I'll get Spider Mines, but I don't know if we're actually going to use them. You technically operate the battlefield through her. Okay, so she's like a a mind meld connection to the battlefield. Because <laughs> these aren't robots. These are, these have dudes in them. None of our guys are actual robots, right? Oh, we haven't had this guy's voice lines. Okay, hold on, we're going to save just to make sure we don't get like obliterated before I'm listening to the voice line. None of our guys are robots. So we've got dude. Here we go. Systems functional. That's a good one. I was gonna say he's all business, but um, and drops a drops a good one at the end. Oh yeah, okay, Armory. No, we definitely didn't have this before. The one Terran unit that takes his job dead seriously. Yep. Yeah, he's all business, man. We're doing pretty good for resources here. Goodish. Need to get some upgrades going there. All right. Oh, that's bad. I'm glad the Overlord is technically a flying unit. No! <laughs> guess I was lamenting the lack of grand turrets, but um, I guess the bunker is kind of our grand. This guy says jacked up and good to go. Does that mean he's like, are they, are they getting like, drugs like pumped into them through the suit? But it feels like it would be that kind of game. I guess you got the stimulant pack, right? So they must have some sort of like medicinal uh, medicinal improvements to their uh, metabolism and such. Uh, we'll do one more bunker down here if they're going to be attacking us that way. Maybe another gear turret as well. I got to repair Jim Rain and then come back. Come back, Jimmy. Clearly ripped off the mix from Avatar. Yeah. Okay. No one has any original ideas anymore. Uh, we need Academy. I don't think there's a fully automated unit in the turret roster. Every robot is piloted. Yeah, it seems to be that way. It's cool. I like that. We hate robots. Humanity first. Alright. Minerals. Probably the only one in the universe, but you prefer a dark rain gameplay over StarCraft. StarCraft lore and story are better. <laughs> Watch those being person. Zerg Rush. <laughs> Lena, why do you get that cool number next to your name? Is that part of your name? Number 369. What does that mean? Is that part of the name, or is that um, some special thing YouTube gives you? Alright, I'm getting stun locked here. I need to um, do stuff. And these upgrades take forever. Um, where is our thing we built? Yeah! I did that sound, man. Okay, so we built an engineering bay. That's big. Aggression inhibitors, that's fun. Bottom line, have rudimentary AI. Dark Rain's pretty good. Dark Rain is pretty good, man. Dark Rain's great. One of the games, for sure. Alright, we're gonna start building some units. Oh, we can build the Goliaths. Yes. Oh, these Goliaths actually remind me of that um, unit in Dark Rain. I forget what it's called. It's, um... One of the Imperium units, I think. They get, like, a twin-barreled, like, robot. Like that. I can't remember its name, though. There, I use them in the video a lot. They're reciprocal. Jacked up. Isn't he connected to the... Th yeah. Connected to the... Th the suit through some port. Like an Ethernet jack. <laughs> like didn't RJ45 into the into the wrist. Other thing. How do you use an M? Okay. I thought YouTube was giving you some like sick name. I was like, damn, how do I get that? Oh man, the glass with red look awesome. Or glass, please. I built another barracks so I can start like you know flying these guys out. At rates never before seen. I think we do have an engineering bank. Yeah, oh, it's this one. Yeah, the colors. Okay, the colors are throwing me off a little. 
Because it's like, oh, I don't have a red engineering bay, clearly, but I medically got this one. Alright, I want the shells. Uh, and the fact that we lose the mission if um, Jim Rayner dies kind of makes me scared to use him. But I guess we'll save a lot. I do want to use him, he's kind of a gamer. Why'd they green? What if it was green? Oh, that's are essentially dreadnoughts from 40k. Nice. Done with that. Matrix needle into the spine jack more than an RJ45. Yeah, it's not as fun, is it? It makes you a bit... A bit um, let's uh, build the control tower. Deal with this. So what if I do this like over here? Oh, it does the flying itself. Okay. All right, all right, Starcraft. Got We build another um, command center. Oh, the queens! They'll be slowing your units down. Oh, that's that's big green. That's fine. Oh, we're gonna call it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll put one more bunker here. We're just a little bit out of coverage. Guys are depleted. That is, it's okay. I'm not too upset about that right now. We're still gonna get the gas just slowly. It's a nice mechanic. I like that. It doesn't like completely ruin you for not having any um any gas. I think there is some up here, right? Yeah, Alright, I want Wraith Stealth, please. Also, um, the name of my favorite uh, AMD included CPU box cooler, the Wraith Stealth. Bit of an um, strange joke. Alright. We're going to run out of minerals pretty soon. I think we are actually going to need to expand up there. I'm sure by design, of course. Skewer RTS Dark Colony. Mediocre but leaned into EG Gore. It sounds... interesting. Go ahead, tack on. Dark Colony. How old is it? I've Go never heard ahead, of that. Alright, we're going to need more um, supply things now. Uh, I wish I could queue these up. Starcraft 2 lets you do that properly. Um, what else do we want? Ship weapons. I want vehicle plating. I'm going to be using vehicles more than ships. Go ahead, I'm just going to be building ships goliaths. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, how are we doing? Oh shit, that's bad. Uh, well, I can build stuff here, right? Research complete. I think I'm just going to build marines. I don't really want to build um, anything with gas. Uh, no, they designed it. See. Oh, this. Ow. Done it. They've ruined my day. Alright. Can you click on science station building? Hey, Clifford. That's a uh, YouTube sub. Um, science station? This one? Uh, yeah! Disappeared into the mists of history. Yeah, it sounds, um... It sounds... Like something worth looking at. Even if anything, just for a laugh. Alright, uh, we don't need another machine shop. More goliaths here. Built another one just for... I could build mini goliaths. Don't bother building there. Just stay here. Finish the missile turret. Okay. Roger that. Um, where's our staff watch? Uh, so we've got stealth. Very good. Putting another one of those. Not enough minerals. We'll probably save the game soon and do an attack. I think. Let's see how we go, and then we'll we can save scum if we have to. Feeling pretty good about the amount of glass we have. We could also bring our um, marines out of the bunkers too, if need be. Not enough 
minerals. Got a few more. We are gonna be out of minerals pretty soon. Is that like 4,000 left maybe? If that. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 14. 14 men. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can. You can build there. We got Jimmy. We got uh, like 10 Goliaths, a dozen or so Goliaths since we get there. We got these guys with one more on the way, I think. Uh, yeah, must be flying over. Oh, yeah. Four there. Yep. They can. St um. Zerg Detectors. Stop doing it now. Zerg Detectors are their overlords, right? Zerg Overlord Detector. Maybe can it not attack itself? I think there's someone sitting in the anti air turret. Yeah, we saw last mission. I didn't even notice until. Oh, okay, that's. To spore colony. Yeah, I had no idea where you look in, but yep, you can, um, here he is. <laughs> He's having the time of his life, man. They're just spinning constantly. Imagine if that's your whole life, just spin. Pretty much all the 90s RTSs that went from the big three have been forgotten. Yeah, it's kind of an unfortunate side effect of, like, big genre booms. It's, it's the same with, like, 2000 shooters. Is this poor colony? Um, probably like 2010s, like multiplayer games and battle royales and stuff. Oh, they couldn't see us, huh? Oh, I can see that guy. Oh no, it's just that guy. Yeah, it's just like once there's so many games, the ones that are only slightly popular or um, a little popular, just. Fade away. They don't have the, the fan base to support it. Alright. Yeah, um, didn't go as bad as I thought. We've saved, so we're going for this. We're going to be gaming. Go. I'll repeat those guys. Got it in this compilation set, which bundled eight strategy games. The big heavy hitters and absolutely no name titles. It's probably like some weird publishing deal, right? Where they're like, okay, we'll give you uh, Age of Empires for your bundle, but in return you have to take this like random game you've never heard of because we can't sell it normally, so you've got to include it in your bundle. Yeah, make you sick in 10 minutes. Yeah, I'd be thrown out after spinning on the anti-air turret for not long at all. I get car sick at the worst of times. The best of times, I should say. The worst of times is me and that turret. So, yeah, that wouldn't be good. Yeah, we'll just stock up some vultures now that we've got a ton of minerals, but... Exact. Interplay. Live 1, Railroad Tycoon, XCOM, Might & Magic, Jagged Alliance, Dark Colony, Max, Conquest of the New World Deluxe. Yeah, I have no idea what those last three are. But then the other ones are like actual games. Alright, so we've got 10. Um, uh, don't quite have 10 Goliaths. That's okay. Alright, we did save it, so um, maybe we'll just save it one more time. Go see what's up. You guys could be squad one. Jimmy? Jimmy the Surfer Dude? Yes. Wait, why are you squad two? Just squad two. Just squad one. Just squad three. No, it's in the glass first. It's all just interplay towers. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> there is interplay bundle, isn't it? Okay, all right, come on, guys. You can do it. Reminded me a lot about Age of Empires 1. Great pathfinding. Alright, Jimmy, let's go! One. This is Surfer Dude, Jimmy. Go ahead, 
Wonder if you wondering if you hit any big waves recently. You hit the surf recently, surfer dude Jimmy? Yeah, this is fun. Alright, so far. In the rear with the gear here. What's that? Zerg Spire. Yeah, their, um, their buildings are pretty disgusting, huh? <laughs> Ultimate Annihilation, CNC, Original War on Earth 2140. All of those from Gog except Dark Colony. Uh, yeah, you can you can get all those from Gog. Alright, we are gaming. Doing okay. What are they doing? Alright, um, I'm trying to take these guys out with range as well. Dude, the glides are sick. Oh my god, no, 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 no. You can actually take them from here, did you know that? What is this? That is, this is not acceptable. Look at the damage on this thing. Dude, no, get in there. Oh my lordy, lordy. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Dude, that thing's messed up. Alright, stuff that man. <laughs> so powerful, and also I don't think I can show that on YouTube without a an 18 plus. <laughs> Fine. <sighs> Spell cross. Reboot someone, Gog. Hell yeah, I love Gog, man. What are these? This looks like one of the um. Oh, I find forgetting the name. The Soul Ripper. Or the Soul Reaver from, I think it's Soul Reaver, from um, Supreme Commander. Stop moving! And the Goliath Pathfinding is, uh, I think it's better in Dark Rain, which is hard to believe. Uh, maybe not, it's pretty bad in Dark Rain. Oh no, actually it can't be that bad because I don't, I didn't remember it really affecting my game, like a ton. Like it was annoying, but I kind of didn't worry too much. Definitely notice here. The queen. Those guys are chunky. Max deserves to be remembered. Moon based. Yeah, I've never heard of it. The only um, three letter acronym game that I remember was MAG. And that's a very different game. Alright, what's the deal with these? How do you um, get over this without. I guess you need dropships? Let's do a test. Do robots get damaged on the, the uh, rust? Oh no, it's a TOS machine. And these guys do it without being attacked. Follow me there. Yeah, nice. They will build some dropships. I think we need um. Additional supply oh. depots required. Supply depots. There's a TikTok. This amount of health, these Zerg buildings. Alright. So now, in theory, we should try to bring you over. Purple stuff doesn't damage you, doesn't it? Am I just measuring that? Oh, uh, you know what? I know what it was. It was the, um. It was the sunken colony damaging me on this one. And I thought it was the purple. But I didn't realize it came under you. That's where I was getting that from. Yep, you're absolutely right. Plankton colonies can only attack ground, spore colonies can only attack air, and out of Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Alright, we're back at it. We're on the grind, we're hustling. A few more of those, so we don't actually need the drop ships then. I wonder if we were wraiths though. And, uh, we'll just pump out some. Cannon fodder. This is Jimmy. All right, let's go. Oh, right, me, boy. Right, just down there. Standing by. Vector. Zerg seem to have a lot of detectors compared to um, Tyran. If I'm just imagining that. Oh yep, yeah, yeah they, they are detecting. They be detecting. Yeah. 
mini detector. So we need to crush through here, right? The, the beacon here. I guess we got to scan. Let's do a scan. I haven't played this in a while. Yeah, I haven't played this uh, ever. Which I guess is a while. I should have brought a CV with me. Let's bring a couple. Bring you guys. Who's the other one? Uh, you. Alright, you're coming up here. You're on healing duty. And you guys can come in for reinforcements too. There's squad 5. Boys are on the way. Complete. Alright, let's do a scan. Let's see what's up. Um, let's do like here. You want a piece of me, boy? Up here. Comes around. Through here. Break the waiting launch orders. So you might be able to get through the top. Excuse me. Oh man, I totally forgot about my coffee. Oh, now it's going to be all cold. See that? It's going to be all cold. It's been here for like... Three hours. Yes, sir. I ain't drinking sir, that. Reach, Whoa, what's the sass? Alright, who needs a repair? You. You. Definitely you. Be careful of the small flying guys, they're most shot. They one shot most E units. Alright. And you definitely need a repair too. Apparently, Blizzard remade this in full 3D. Yeah, I don't know about that. You mean this is in 3D? Like how, um. I don't know if it is. The units might be modeled in 3D. I know for Asian Empires 2 Definitive, they, um. They like remodeled the games in 3D, but it's from like a 2D um, a 2D perspective. So the units can move around, but they had to make it so that they couldn't just like move around in full 3D. So they actually like keyframed their hard coded like positions. Pretty interesting. Sounds fun. All right, we're gaming. Let's do it. Go ahead, um, we gotta watch out for the glides first. Oh, those are gold guys. Different team. Are oh, these guys the one-shotters? Shoot these guys down. Oh no, they got the they got the liquor. <laughs> they got liquor tongue. Bring him back. Bring him back. No. Maybe we think we need to fully destroy them here, but... What are you on? No, 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 pathfinding? No. No. Bad pathfinding. Bad pathfinding. Okay. Oh, they got the sass, man. I'm trying to help them. Ah, read you, sir. Okay, no, just chill, Goliath. Okay. The Goliaths are out of control, man. They have their own mind. I ran when they made StarCraft 2. Apparently they did a remaster of this game as well. Oh, really? And what, you like, just didn't get released? Or they did it internally or something? That'd be certainly an interesting, um... Thing. More Marines. More... Insufficient Vespine gas. Alright. I do kinda want to clear these guys, but maybe we don't need to. Yes, you. Go yes, take that guy. It's kinda gross how the blood like spurts out and stuff. Is that in the original? Yeah, nice. Fuck. <laughs> Disgusting. 
The Goliath's kind of here, they had a pretty big glow up too, eh? Fan project. Oh, yeah. I think you got when you got stuck up there. Yeah, was it like a fan thing that included? It sounds cool either way, though. Could be interesting. Alright. Um, let's see if we can uh, avoid you. Get in here. Another scan. Random minerals. Need them. Um, so we just go up here. You want a piece of me, boy? Okay, we're gonna have to go there. Calling online. Right, let's go. Oh my god, this that fucking thing, dude! It's so powerful. Master recall for StarCraft Two is a mod. Good mod. The last looks so cool as always. Yeah, they do. They look. Anytime you're ready. Never done a lot of upgrades. I think we have, right? I don't care about Stimpak. I hate me and my homies hate Stimpak. Need these. I don't really mind about the ship plating. Frankly, I'd rather save the um, gas. Alright, you're going on gas. I'm taking you guys up here. And we're doing uh, mineral harvesting. Need more minerals. Hank Schrader. Hank Schrader needs his minerals. Let's check out down here then. Go ahead, Commander. Got the boys here. Calling online. Target designated. I really gotta look out for the um stop. 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 High ground. Get him on the high ground. You don't have to run across the map, you can shoot him from here. Oh, guys, guys, guys. That's gonna die. Okay, we're gonna micromanage the hell out of this, uh, our finding here. Get from up. Uh, let's build. Uh, uh, uh build. Come on, sit. I also build a guest thing as well. All right, keeping our units alive. That's the main thing. Except the Marines. Marines can't be healed. <laughs> this is Jimmy. I just think they could be, but just don't. Okay, we're going this way. That way through. Base is under oh man, this is brutal. It's the pathfinding you remember. Yeah, they clearly didn't. Um, Didn't do a lot with the pathfinding. Can we go up here? Perhaps. Uh, maybe here. Yeah. Okay. Or I presume we can. I don't really want to go this whole way. Yeah. Going down and around. Alright, let's move the boys. We're gonna go down and to the right. Yo, Clifford, thanks for the 99 cent super chat. Thanks, brother. Been here. Base is under attack. Didn't know YouTube, uh... Oh, God. Uh, that's... Give me something to shoot. I didn't know YouTube let you do cents for the super chat. I thought it was just, uh, Go ahead, complete man. dollars. You learn something new every day. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna repair you. Actually, repair you first. Is that burning? No. <laughs> well, sounds like it is. So, having one unit type and rushing the enemy in these kinds of games is fun. Yeah, buddy. The way I spam the Goliaths, and that's all you do. Go ahead, Tacon. Repair you. We're just taking a slow approach here. There's no need to um, rush it. Yeah. We're we having fun. Alright, you're repaired. Okay. Be a Fredo Frog, hey, thanks, man. Man, I could use, haven't had a Fredo Frog in ages. I did have um, some of those Edbury popping 
puppets, like the same size, like, you know, this kind of size of like the popping elves over, over Christmas. Uh, that was pretty good. The amount of Frida Frog kind of hits different though. Frida oh, Frog's yeah. oh, yeah. a. Like, Cadbury chocolate normally sucks ass. Yeah. But, uh, Frida Frogs yeah, are okay. Going. I'm presuming Frida Frog is Cadbury. Pretty sure they are, right? Becoming a chocolate stream. Right chocolate discuss solution. discussion stream. Nothing wrong with it. What's your guys' favorite chocolate? You probably get like way better chocolate being like. I know. I'm assuming all the Europeans have like nice chocolate. All the US people are probably like, uh, Mahershi's. And everyone's gonna be like, ugh. Then any NZers and Australians can get Whitakers, so. Number one. Uh, my Hershey's, uh, my Mars Corporation. Oh, is that it? I used to got the Feastables now. I haven't tried, but I've heard... Some people say it's like way better than um, all the big chocolate brands. Other people say it tastes like a... Right. We're going here. We're going to jump in there. We're going to save the day. Sugar-free. Sugar-free chocolate is... In my experience, not that nice. But yeah. I would be love to uh, find one that is nice. Peanut slab or yes. give me a peanut. Slab. This should be good. Whenever I play the Forge Alliance campaign, I tend to knock. Oh no! Shoot! 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 Knock out the first few objectives of each mission, then spend 30 to 90 minutes spamming experimentals. Yeah, hell yeah, that's the way. Something on your mind. The way it's meant to be played. What is that from? The way it's meant to be played? Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I almost just got Jim Rainer be obliterated. The way it's meant to be played. That's NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA's old slogan. Destroy that thing. God, I hate those. That is like the worst unit I've ever seen. I hate it so much. Alright, who needs a heal? Uh, you need a heal. We almost lost Jimmy. If you stick Jimmy's, we almost lost him. Very unfortunate. That'd be very sad because she haven't saved for a while. Now oh, the save games is such a smart idea for the uh, YouTube video. That's Nvidia, yeah. The way it's meant to be played. Alright. Oh, we're gonna need more guys here. I thought we were just gonna rock on up and uh, save the day. Um, we'll go. Alright. Get him. We're here, brother. God, well, technically we're here. Um, let's get a marine on there. What do to do? Protect, bring rain or and two dropships. Two of those. Your forces are under attack. Get you stake Jimmy's out here. Is that another? Something on your mind. Systems functional. We gotta take that out. It's gonna mean. Now calm locked. I hate this. <clears throat> New least favorite unit. I like to rush when I play Zerg. Zergling rush, nah. Hydralisk rush, nah. Ultralisk rush. They sound like um, big guys on Ultralisk. I don't think I've seen those, have I? Standing by. Go, go, go. All right, bring the drop shots. This has been fun. This is cool. I'll probably try and play through all of Starcraft on stream, maybe. I do one a week or 
one of Fortnite. The, the video is not super close. Um, so I got to do room two first, obviously. And that is nearly done. Now I've got a couple of other videos that need doing. And then it's Homeworld 3 ish around the start of March. So I don't know if StarCraft video is going to be done before that. So we'll probably, I'll probably just try and stream the campaign, at least the original. We finished the main one. And, you know, you know how it goes, we could do Broad War and stuff as well. It's pretty cool. Um, I'd like to do it every week, but... I don't know if that's possible. We should, should be able to make every week happen. Might just have to be a different day, because next... This time next week we've got a Discord game planned. Which you can participate in. Here we go. Discord plug inbound. Um, yeah, we play. Oh, Le Lena's in chat. We play. Uh, Lena's from Discord. Uh, we play RTS games every. probably once a month, would you say? Once every four or five weeks. But there's, pe there's people playing in there pretty often. Um, which is cool. So yeah, we're playing Supreme Commander next. this time next week. So we might. if I do a stream, it might be tomorrow tomorrow a week tomorrow kind of thing that's still the weekend for everyone not in uh, NZ in transit, HQ. Uh, but yeah if you want to if you want to play the games and have some fun then yeah you can join the discord uh, via patreon or uh, as a youtube member um, for as little as a dollar a month how about that And there should be a Patreon link in the description. And yeah, you, obviously YouTube you can do on here. Down to give Homeworld 3 multiplayer a whirl? Yeah, me too. Rogue, yeah, the roguelike mode. Yeah, I am really interested in that. I feel like it could be really, really cool and like... The only thing I would play from that game after finishing the campaign. Or it's going to be like kind of a throwaway fun for a few hours, but just to play skirmish kind of thing so yeah i'm not sure i'm excited to see what they do with it there's so many delays like that game overall like i'm hoping that the pale pays off <laughs> all right go jimmy no this way that's what i said no dude please buddy please Dude, oh my god. Jimmy! Okay. Oh, I'll tell you where to go. Just come. Come through here. Oh my god. Alright. We'll put you in a dropship. Oh my god, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're killing me here, man. You're killing me, Jimmy. Triangle Minsk. You see Veers blocking in here. It's the pathfinding year, man. No one love. Save our entire race from being overrun by the Zerg. I don't think it's be good. a difficult decision. Join forces with you? I'm a general for God's sake. Now we'll just let you die then, eh? How about that? Army. Would you prefer I'll that? You a position in my cabinet, not just some backwater post. Don't test my patience, Edmund. Edmund, first name. Alright, Mengs. Yeah. I like this guy. I hope uh, my fondness of him doesn't bite us uh, in the ass later on with some sort of traitorous behavior. Ten minutes, yeah, whatever you say. Trump card. Whoa. 
Political? Didn't realize we we're getting political today. Commander, our position has been discovered. As of two hours ago, a large Confederate strike force arrived on Antigua Prime and established a base camp within our defensive perimeter. Our Taurus Manx is We can totally trust here. this guy. Yeah, I'm sure we can. I know you're all concerned. <clears throat> Seems like a nice guy. Okay. It seems our data disks didn't hold weapon designs after all. Lieutenant Kerrigan will explain. You all know that the Confederates run a program for psychically gifted humans, mm. training them to ghosts. Those running the program L L2 implants. are tuned to the psychic emanations of ghosts. So mm. the Zerg are here for you, darling? <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. Shut up. There's been a lot of secret Confederate Lex. research surrounding ghosts and the Zerg. What we stole was a small but critical piece of the puzzle. Designs for a transplanar psionic waveform emitter. The emitters broadcast the neural imprint of a ghost, but at a much greater magnitude. Mm. These things reach across worlds. Mm. The Confederacy mm. okay. used these psi emitters to lure the Zerg into isolated containment areas. Your colleagues Oh, it's just atheist. Take a look down the screen. Subjects of a Confederate weapons test, just as they destroyed Core Hall with nuclear weapons to establish dominance a generation ago. Nope. They would use yes. the Zerg to put an end to their other rivals. Only this time there'd be no. Wow. Weapons. Who could suspect the aliens were their creation? No, they'd be lauded as heroes. Oh, really? Does it get mentioned again? <laughs> Seems important. Yeah, okay. How about that? Aaron Burns can fly. Yeah. They better use them brood war. Seems like an important thing to forget. What the hell is this? Why is he holding something? Carry out your orders to Base is under yeah. attack. Yes, sir. This Terran Science Facility. Um, oh, that's bad. Uh, we're all being obliterated? Ah! Ah! I didn't read the objectives! Move towards Big Green. Your buildings immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I see what you mean about the siege tank. Thing is, uh, thing's buff. Suck too. All right. Um, yeah, that was bad. Base is yeah. under so we're leaving that one to die. Okay. Not enough minerals. Simon is the enemy base. Okay, that's um so that's this, right? He's holding it. I'm ready. Is even gone Super Saiyan? Oh no. Can they go chunk? Can they go big mode? Siri? No, Siri, I don't want to call anyone. What are you talking about? That's extra Siri, not um don't do it again. Uh not adjutant Siri. Oh, where is she? This one. Science vessel. This. Okay, we're gonna see what this guy looks at. Oh my lord. Why the long face? Oh run, we get voice lines. Voice lines. Transmit orders. Receiving headquarters. Base 
base is under attack. Oh, don't hit me, I gotta hit this thing. It is. That one's pretty funny. He sounds like um, like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Do you agree? That's all I'm hearing with that guy. Or like Doctor Ganglion from Impossible Creatures. That's Mr. Right. Greens. Yeah, uh, scanning upgrade here. Wouldn't be surprised if it's not the same actor. Yeah, I would like to. Um, we have you on visual. Sounds like it. Maybe not. I, don't know. I think I want to Google that. <laughs> you could find out for us. Double negative here. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't the same actor. Yeah, yeah. I read you. SCB good to go, sir. He is Mr. Burns, it's the same voice actor, really? Oh man, that's really funny if that's true. It really does sound like it. Yeah, surely. It sounds very close. It'd be, it'd be the same right era, no? When like Simpsons was, was crushing it. Uh, what do we got? Barracks, factory. Get a bunker down there. Get a bunker. Bunker. You. He's already taken, I guess. Engineering bay. Barracks. Binary. Barracks. Starport. Okay. So, we need factory. We got starport. Need not enough minerals. Lieutenant Kerrigan reporting. I don't really care about this unit. Really? Not uh, enough minerals. Command. Too auxiliary for me to worry about him. Job Let's move. Man, those guys are Report very ready. nearly toast. <laughs> Fine, they can just fill in there for a while. Alright, you've got a machine shop. Chopper. The normal ECB, this is my sign, but uh. Mission. 7, save 4. Ah, <clears throat> uh, so it is a detector. That's pretty useful. Yeah, right, let's see. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Yeah. Cook him. Excuse me. This game would make a great HBO series. I feel like... I don't know. It's, people probably agree with me on this. I feel like anything could make a great HBO series, you know? Not that I'm just... I'm not taking away from your uh, statement, because I believe you are true. HBO could make a good anything. I haven't had enough story here yet to speak for myself. Right away, sir. But from what I've seen, it seems like there's some good stuff going on here. Checked IMDb, and Tracy Bush has done voice work for StarCraft, Warcraft, or WoW, or DC Online, but it's not the guy who did Mr. Burns. Hmm. What thickens? Can I read you? Yeah, I feel like, um... Yeah, it would be easy to find out, right? Because, like, it would be a very popular person. I can't remember who voiced Mr. Burns. Probably like one of the same people who does everyone. Oh, we can build the siege team. Oh. I would like to build the siege tank, please. I would like to build the siege tank. Yes, I read you. 
They have a lot of your CVs. I think I might have overbuilt them. <laughs> yeah, so our population is gone. The StarCraft 1 menu is super cool. I think you can find a PDF of it. Yeah, I've had a lot of people today say the menu is really good. I think next stream we'll um, read through the menu a bit before we start. Oh, we'll do it together. I haven't got my OBS set up to do anything other than capture the game. <laughs> so, so, um, yeah. I will get something set up for next time so we can look at it together. And I'll get some proper lighting. And maybe my nice camera, but honestly the webcam's doing pretty good. I kind of like this, like, direct webcam angle. We'd have to have the camera off to the side, it would, might look a little weird. But it could be cool, it'd be like a real streamer. See the camera and the lighting and stuff? Real streamer. Um, you can put another depot, that's good. Alright, I want my siege tanks. Not enough minerals. What upgrades do I get? Siege tick or siege tank. It's an ability. Okay. I can't build there. Ready to roll out. Oh, look at him. Yes, sir. He's he's large. Delighted to serve. Delighted to serve. Gotta get a live 2D model and become a VTuber. <laughs> Bruh. That'd be kind of fun to try out, but yeah, no. Is this real? Yes, it is. It certainly is. Oh man, I got a really good feeling about the original model for this one. Let's see. Oh, it's not as good as I thought. But that guy, man, that guy's brutal. They didn't dirty. They gave him quite the glow up. He doesn't look that bad. He's just like, whatever. Get the tanks, you're in for a treat. Siege mode. Alright. Oh, yep. Alright, let's hear some voice lines. Orders serve. Identify target. Orders serve. Da 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 I'm about to drop the hammer and dispense some indiscriminate justice. <laughs> Some indiscriminate justice, eh? Not enough minerals. Alright, give me siege tank. Oh, I need minerals. minerals. I have so much gas right now. That's a bizarre sentence. Um, yeah, no, good day. Not enough minerals. I need minerals. How many does have a gas? Too many. I have like four or five on there. The ability is a must. Okay. Right, I believe ya. I'll put one more of this. Oh, that's alright. Deal with that. I probably want to repair it though. Research C check ASAP. The win button for the mission. Oh my god. Oh dude. You've done you've done it to yourself. You've done this to yourself. I kill units. <coughs> Useless. Absolutely useless. You're staying there for eternity. Stuck in purgatory. Alright, almost done. I am keen to see what the siege mode is. Research complete. Alright, what have we got? Let's have a look. Siege mode. Uh oh. Okay, stationary? Stationary big gun. Is it like an artillery cannon? Oh, I love that. What does the old uh, animation look like? That's... That's sick. You can attack your own units to kill them. Okay. No, he's not dying, he's in purgatory, he's never getting out. He doesn't deserve to get out. He's done this to himself. Bow, bow, bow. Wait, did we build an academy? Oh, I think we started in, uh, yeah. or something. 
What more um plane? Think trebuchet, but cooler. Okay. Identify target. Like I told you. You want a piece of me, boy? It's like a truck in the sand of firing it is awesome. Alright, let's give it a go then. Yeah. Cover. Yeah, I'm going. Order served. What's the range? Find out. <coughs> Excuse me. Probably not that long, huh? Artillery blessing. Delighted to sir. Something on your mind? Orders served. Absolutely. Move it. Proceeding. I read you, sir. What do you want? Give us a line of sight, please. Oh, that's some good line of sight with the height. Uh, okay, alright, uh, okay, you know what? I'm thinking with portals. We need a stealth guy. Get out of there. <laughs> alright, yeah, I got you. Okay. We need some stealth. Range is bigger than vision. Cool. Don't need that far for range, so he's great, gotcha. You can kill your own units, but only five bats are any danger because they're the only ones who must go into melee range at right, I see. They know about the high ground, low ground combat penalties. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I do. Um, another question would be, am I going to utilize them? That would be a fair question. Damaged guy. Um, the shells. Where's Arthas? Yeah, they should add Arthas to this game. He's a uh, Minsk, right? Arthas Minsk. Where is the main guy in this? Uh, five bats. Right. Yes, please. Um, we need Goliaths. We need an armory. I thought we built. Did we not build an armory? Yeah, What an armory then? The place you have to take the Simon is the east of the map. Yeah, I figured it was. Is there a pathway through there? Was... I was assuming I would have to go around. <laughs> I mean, the sun does look does look a lot like Arthas. Hmm. Coincidence. Yep, get our um, scanner on. Get some cloak going. See what the flip is happening. I would like some Goliaths, please, sir. What's the ah scream supposed to be? I don't know, man. It, it's very funny, though. <laughs> uh, someone said it's like, you know, they're doing it. It's like education experiments, you know, so. Maybe not a nice place to be, but it is a very funny voice line. Just to be clicked on, yep. That's these. Don't see him as a Starcraft. Warcraft 3 takes place 10 years after Starcraft, you think so? There's a straight line from the minerals to the east of your base to the side minute. Oh, is there? How's it this one? Oh, it's through here. Wow, they they tricked us. Alright. We're good then. Let's um let's start messing down here then. Oh. Alright, let's um we'll queue up a few more guys. We've got no reason not to um some big boys. We've got the resources to do it. The desire to win. Not enough minerals. How we scream. Yeah, I've heard the scream before. I don't know the origins of this one. Like I know everyone knows Wilhelm scream, of course. I don't know that's I've I know I've heard that one before, but I just don't know where it's from. Receiving headquarters. 
a Google search away, I'm sure. Alright, I think 90 is probably fine. We'll do a save before we move on. Is there a line? There is. Okay. Let's go. Let's have a look. See what's up. There wasn't EX card around here somewhere, but yeah, there. One. Oh, they got their own siege tanks there. Easter Island here. Got a few uh, anti. Oh. Off a few guys over here. Explode them into giblets. Look like in the original. Pretty amazing how good both art styles look. It was like um, CNC remastered. We hit the same thing. We moved all the guys away. They're not the right guys we want either. We're we'll releasing dudes up here. <laughs> Get like obliterated. These guys are probably more infantry, huh? Um, let's build five marines in a bunker. Just so they can't do that again. A little sneaky maneuver. Oh, focus, focus, focus. Okay. And we gotta actually remember to take Kerrigan too. We can just leave it there. No. Got those. But two of you, two of each probably. The bunker. Okay. Tank up here. This thing could just kill the siege tank, right? <laughs> Leave a siege tank into the bunker. That's probably a good idea. Who's the lucky one? You. Right there too. Alright, let's save it and uh, move on. Alright, here again in the Sai Sai thingo. The squad zero. Um, we'll probably put siege tanks on their own squad. Which one? Um, we can probably go on that team. Uh, get super time. Alright, you're gonna be team one. Combined arms force. For team two. Alright, here we go. Save. Right, I tell lead. That should be save one. Whatever. Done it now. Yeah, you guys can actually destroy. We got one, two, three. Number three. Yeah, team three. Take the siege tank out, boys. Load up. Load up. Get rid of them. Or the ear turret. No! Oh, wait. Hey, you're supposed to be Team 3 of the Siege Tanks. You're Team 4. Alright. Alright, the boys are back. Okay, so I don't really need to worry about what's up there. 
Home skin. Oh yeah, nothing too bad. Let's see, let's test the range on these guys. Oh my lord. Alright, relax. See if we can hit this from that distance. Oops. Quiet. Here they come. Just need to be engaged. Oh, come on. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, uh, powerful. Duck used to be in the Wraith control group next to the Wraiths. Really? What's, how does that work? Quite a few guys here. We're building more guys. Just your forces are under attack. Calling online. Target designated. Oh. I gotta get a better solution for that. I guess I could get that science vessel, it's just sitting here. Um, see if we, well I guess we might as well move out here. Do that anyway. Um, where's our... <clears throat> guy. Who's our guy? Who's the guy? Alright Mr. Burns, I'll get you over here. He's calling him Mr. Burns from But that's okay. Alright, so there. Yes. Sorry, boy. Yes, sir. Standing by. Reporting in. Science piece. Yes, sir. Delighted to serve. Probably should have had him sooner, frankly. But Absolutely. What you gonna do, eh? Slightly mismanaged. Worked out in the end, but only somewhat. Here we go. Kill him. Your forces are under attack. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh dear. Alright. We're loading that. <laughs> Bruh. Get obliterated. I crew that bit up. <sighs> Alright. We gotta dig in here a bit more first, I think. That wasn't pretty. A lot of guys. Yep. Let's move our um. We got force out here. I'm down here and start. Can we put her on a dropship? We probably can, right? Why not? I can't build it. Something's in the way. 
My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. So, we'll try this again. Um, hmm. Little scan. That was quite the enemy force. Need more units, so you can I take your order? Yes, sir. Yeah, you can actually. Can I read you? Report for duty. One Sierra Kerrigan to go. Thanks. You're on house duty. As long as we don't get a shot down. Hang on, we're in for some chop. Same thing. Fire it up. You've got it. Okay. Reporting in. Job finished. Report for duty. Or defensive structures down here. I can't drop there. Job finished. The risk of making pathfinding even worse. Pack. Pretty much got all there is upgrades we want. There's one we didn't have. Oh yeah, these. <laughs> the placing upgrades and stuff. Yes, sir. Go ahead, okay, so that's Kerrigan, you can stay there. Upgrade complete. Okay, I'll put another one here. Little fob. Little fob. Are all the campaigns the same um, length? I think they're all like roughly kind of the same number of missions. But then Brood Wars just um, just one campaign, right? Just um, like uh, Zerg, Kerrigan Zerg stuff. Okay. Channel open. Destination. Bird War is all three again. Holy wow. Damn. Ball, like massive. Pretty big for an expansion. Affirmative. Order scout. Destination. Reporting in. Report for duty. Even when they made expansions, they were just like a whole nother game. Siege tanks. Not enough minerals. I read you. Right away, sir. Orders, Captain. Right away, sir. Affirmative. Slightly fewer missions than vanilla, but they're bigger overall. Go ahead, Commander. It's pretty wild, though. Okay. We're gonna try this again. Two more units. Go ahead, HQ. Orders, Ready to roll out. Get some new units. A medic. Yeah, a medic would be nice. Protoss and Terran get eight missions. Zerg gets ten plus a secret one. Man, they love the Zerg. They love the Zerg so much. Destination. Well, I know why. Alright. Absolutely. Channel open. Need a light. Ready to roll out. Alright, 
save and try again. Go ahead, Commander. Add on complete. Identify target. Fish first. It's a treat coming your way with all the campaigns. Oh, yeah? Is it a like on this live stream from you? <laughs> I wish. Can you like live streams? YouTube, I presume you can. I actually have no idea. Despite doing this on YouTube, I have a, uh, maybe consumed a live stream on YouTube once. I really don't know anything about that. I probably should look into it. Oh, I guess I watch um the Wayne Show, like the LTT Wayne Show, and that is a live stream. It doesn't feel. I always usually watch the VOD anyway. <clears throat> but like, you should be able to watch this video. Um, after it's after it's finished, <clears throat> like it should save the whole thing. If you're in doubt, I'm playing tier and get more tanks and try again. Yep, I respect that. A respectful move. It's gonna go real slow. On steady. And the siege tanks are pretty insane. You just get line of sight on something and it just blows up. <laughs> Go ahead, Commander. Let's get these guys in here. Absolutely. I'm more surprised than RTS Gear has never played StarCraft. I know. Okay. That's why I'm playing it now, because people have asked me about it for real. And I've always had to say, no, I've never played it. And they're like, what? What do you mean you've never played it? Uh, surprised it actually finally happened. Like it seemed like that's one of those things that would just never happen. So I always put it off, and there's always like another video I had to do. But um, no, we're here. We're doing it. We're out there doing it. Okay. Put the siege tanks forward a bit. Go ahead, I'll take your aircraft. Hold the glass, please. Ready to roll out. Up we go. Want to turn up the heat? Yes, sir. target. Here we go. Um, oh, did I move that before we loaded you? The well, lights are cool, but outclassed by the rest of the Tyrion units. Yeah, but they look sick. To be fair, why would you play StarCraft when you could play a game that's good? <laughs> I know, right? I could be playing, um... I don't know. What could I be playing? Nothing, let's be fair. I could be uh, playing Escape from Tarkov right now. Now that is a game that makes me angry. Alright, delete them. Please let me through. Please get my man through. ED209 looking ass. That's exactly it. And clear inspiration. The Duck, Duck Rain had one too. And we're clearly both inspired by, uh, about to say Terminator. Um, Robocom. Oh, he's back. Ready to roll out. I got my detector aircraft. Get over here. Alright, Mr. Burns. What are you doing? Receiving headquarters. Alright, thank you, Mr. Burns. I could be playing CNC Rivals. Hey, I already made a video on that. The last get outperformed so hard just by marines and medics and brood war. <laughs> well, once I can get a medic, I'll be sure to give that a go. Um, do I have any other healers? Oh, repairers. Oh, former siege shanks, though. Let's go.
It's not like the game revolutionises the genre with fully asymmetric races. Is the top selling classical RTS and spawned one of the first esports? No, it's not like any of that's true. You know, I used to work with a guy a few jobs ago, for like five years ago, who claimed, I never backed up these claims, but he was like probably 10 years older than me, so he would have been in his 30s. Oh, maybe a bit older, he was in his late 30s. Um, and he claimed that he used to be one of the top StarCraft players in like Australia and New Zealand when he was like 18, whenever, whatever age it would have been. And he was just like super, um, this real like rugged farming guy, you'd like never expect him. This huge beard and he was, he was like a farmer and he was like, yeah, when I went to university I was a huge gamer and like I was a god at StarCraft 2. We were talking about what I did and I was like, oh yeah, I got a YouTube channel. I was like, have you played StarCraft? Even then the people asked me to play StarCraft. Robocop's the best film ever made. Hey man, I haven't seen Robocop in a long time. I need to watch it again. I watched it when I was quite quite young. Robos are still alive? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I haven't heard anything to the contrary. Surprised that they didn't can rivals within a couple of years. I mean, yeah. Look, I've been, I've gone to bat four rivals before, and I will again. Rivals is an okay game. It didn't deserve a lot of the hate it got. I made a whole video on it a few years ago. Maybe four years ago. It's quite an old video. But I'm still pretty happy with it. I think the video was good, and I think it um, was pretty fair in terms of my assessment of the game for what it was, and trying to look past the um, uh, my CNC can't be on my phone kind of discourse, which just in and of itself doesn't have a lot of um, depth to it. But um, yeah, I think the game was okay. I think they for making a Command & Conquer game on mobile, I think they did a pretty good job, honestly, and um, yeah, kind of got memed on. But um, I have requested a beta code for the other Command & Conquer mobile game that's coming out, another new one. Um, what was it called? Legion? Legends? One of the two. One of the leech, leech words. Legion or legions. Um, and that looks like ass. And uh, I am looking forward to kind of tearing that video, that game down. But hey, if it's good, and it turns out to be good, then I'll tell you. I won't let my uh, preconceived notions get in the way of a good time. Yeah, we got to focus here. One of the douchiest college guys I ever met was a top 8 Company of Heroes player. I don't know why that, I find that really funny. He's a complete douche, but he's really good at Company of Heroes. Like a new new guy just dropped, like douchey guy who's the best Company of Two here, Company of Heroes player you've ever seen. I wasn't here. Oh, gun noise sound. Alright, we're moving. We're shmoving. Who needs repairs? Probably you. In here. Uh, yeah, you could use a repair or two, not gonna lie. Rifles was sort of fun, but fans wanted a real CNC over that. It'll get smacked regardless of quality. Agreed. 100% agreed. It's not what people wanted. By, f like, to an insane degree. So, most people wouldn't even, wouldn't even consider giving it, like, the benefit of the doubt, because it was, like, such a misread of everything. Which is their fault. Like, you know, they totally misread. Or, maybe they didn't, maybe they, they probably knew exactly what they were doing, to be totally fair. Um, but yeah, they handled it really badly. Destination. But, Proceed. like, for what it was, pretty good game. Pretty fun. I had a lot of fun with that game. I put, like, a few dozen hours into it. Yes, sir. Pretty good fun game. 
Have you clicked on any of the units and annoyed them? I have. We've been doing it for every new one. I think I've done it for everyone now. Who was the most recent? Mr. Burns. Yeah, I think everyone's had a, had a taste. Siege mode, let's go! Take him down. So funny man, they just get into the line of sight and just Whoa, what is that? What the hell is that? It's the ship, man. Uh that ain't that ain't right. They have the ship? You just build that? Look how big it is! That is Okay, man. Build that, huh? Lord. Okay, that's where we're going. Wow, that is a lot of units. Alright, let's just chill here. Just pull back here. Let's just relax. Siege mode's on. Let's just let him come to us. Go get out of there. But don't you guys have phones, man? That's an all time great moment. Poor guy. That guy got memed on so hard. Just a dev. Just trying to do his best, got caught up in, you know, the moment and said something that probably didn't think about a lot. Forever meme done. You should try that unit clicking on a critter if you find Perhaps in a critter. Perhaps in a critter. Poor baby. Yeah, that's, um, can I build those? I want to build that. I want a battle cruiser. Commencing. Good evening, hey, how's it going? Oh, shit. Make it out of there. Thanks for being here. Uh, uh, I'm going really to pronounce your name Faye. Faye? Sorry if I butchered that. Thanks to everyone else for being here too. Just kind of, uh, I was a little nervous about this, honestly. Like, for those who have been around for a long, long time, you may or may not know that I used to stream on Twitch um, three or four years ago. It's like a different thing. I played uh, card games um, before I got over a job. <laughs> uh, but I haven't done a stream since then. I was a little nervous on how it would go. This has been really fun. It's been nice, um, yeah, playing a, a game that I. I haven't played before, pretty much. Well, literally. That's not yes. Um, yeah, I'm hanging out. It's been cool. I think it's fun to stream on YouTube. It's good, like... I don't think... Like, if you're going to stream a game like this on Twitch, unless you had the audience already, um, you probably aren't getting a lot of traction. <laughs> I don't think people are looking to play StarCraft on Twitch. I mean, maybe it's an eSport, I guess, but, um, yeah, made sense on YouTube, since, you know, the audience is here, and, uh, in theory, this is what you guys want to see, so, should we break while I work on that Rome 2 video, which is like a, just a monolith of a video, it's taken ages. Not artillery is quite powerful, I know, right, you're telling me. Remember the Gwent Knights? Yeah, those were the days. You're one of the OGs. You're on forever. Know all the lore. Plant the emitter. Yep, agreed. Playing Hogwarts Legacy the last few days and I love it. Nice. Yeah, my uh, my wife's been playing it. And, uh, she speaks very highly of it. I've been meaning to play it for ages. Look at it on the Xbox. I'll probably play it one day. I'll probably wait till it goes real cheap on Steam to play it on PC. Cool there. We're gaming. Nice job. Yeah. 25 minutes. This timer is balked, man. It's all over the place. The Zerg. Lured by the Siamid's signal, descended upon the unsuspecting Confederate forces and annihilated them. Yes. 
got him. All those tanks firing make the stream very blurry, does it? That's actually good to know, so that means our bitrate's too low. We should be, we should have more bitrate than that. Can I alter it while we stream? Put it up. Put it up a bit, I'll see if I... That should be able to cope with that. Yeah, I'm boosting it a bit, hopefully, um... That helps. Yeah, I was a little worried that um, we would have some bitrate issues. Once again, the Protoss fleet, under the command of High Templar Tissadar, don't know who that is, arrived and incinerated the planet. Nice. Thanks, guys. Waiting for Homeward 3. Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. Big push. On ship Hyperion. Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. I don't think there has been a blue Tiberium joke yet. Time of our final strike. Not that I've read. Confederacy is close at hand. Before we can strike at Tarsonis itself, however, we must break through the Confederacy's most potent defenses. General Duke will brief you. I've defended Tarsonis in over thirty major battles, so I know it's defense. I like this guy. He's gonna betray us, man. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you for the frontal assault type. Well, the Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defending the platform. They're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron boys. Right. Boys. The briefing. Duke must survive. Glass is a second planet after vowing never to do it. Yeah, I wouldn't I would never glass a planet and leave five minutes later. Alright. Yeah, Protoss will uh they'll wipe out the bugs. Okay, I think we might call it there. That's been a solid four hours, and regrettably I have adult things to do. <laughs> so we got eight missions? Is that right? Eight in? Hey, there you go. Big push. So we got eight and nine to finish next time, and then we'll do um, Berg. Nice. That was fun. Nothing compared to the Marines. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was cool. Probably try and do another one. Um, I'd like to do one of these a week, at least for StarCraft. Um, oh god, focus. Um, so yeah, this will either be again next week at same time, or more likely um, the day after. So it'll be like tomorrow time, but next week. So like Sunday morning and Sunday evening. Most people. Um, but yeah, I'll schedule it on YouTube like 24 hours or 12 hours before it goes up so you'll be able to see and uh, Yeah, I'll put a community post and Twitter whatever no, you'll be able to see. Thanks for the stream. I appreciate it Ben. Thanks for being here man. Patrick you too Eight missions in three hours pretty good. Yeah, feels all right four hours I guess Um, Thanks for the stream. Yeah, no worries Rufus. Thanks for being here and yeah i'll plug uh, the discord one more time so yeah next sunday so a week from now we are playing um supreme commander in the discord server um, and if you want to be a part of that then you can join the discord by being a patreon uh subscriber or a youtube member so um I think it should be like one us dollar minimum so filter out um savories basically of course you can do more which is always appreciated um and yep yeah, if you want to do that you can join the discord server we hang out we play rts games we um chat about rts chat about many many things and yeah it's getting pretty decent now so in size so if you ever want to find someone to play an old game with or something there's someone around but yeah there's links to that down below hey thanks pookie you have a good day as well and hope you guys have a yeah great rest of your days wherever you are in the world got a pretty good world spread um, and I think I gotta figure out how to stop this stream.
<laughs> I should figure out how to actually do streaming properly. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll be back next week for more StarCraft. Uh, we'll see you then. There might be a Rome 2 uh, review video out before next stream. Might be the one after. We'll see. Keep an eye out anyway.